All right, so hi, everyone. <laughs> I don't know if everyone saw the garbage fire that I did <laughs> as I tried to stream Tappy and I, but that didn't work, so I canceled, like, essentially canceled, delayed my stream for a few minutes, for like an hour, apparently. Anyways, hi, everyone. Yeah. I'm... Camera's kind of focusing over and over. Oh, yeah. It's, it's acting, it's acting real it's weird. It's stabilized now, I think. Yeah, it's, it's being real weird. Things are, being, she... things are being weird. You see the stream cat? Yes, you see the stream kitty. Yeah, she's a little more visible right now than usual. Yeah, because then everything's in the dark. So, okay, so we are we are going to play arena, and then, um, this is my prison Mari costume. It's having a cat, apparently. Yes, that counts. Yeah, this is just like how mine's the weird. Like I have the hat up thing because this thing's been in a bloody storage, and it's also too small for my head because I got it when I was like ten. So, hi. Okay, there we go. So, oh, hey, I got the, the curve out of it. Sweet, I don't look like I'm Aussie. Um, I think that's just wrong with Aussie people. I just, yeah, I look like a stereotype. <laughs> Anyways, hi. Uh, should we draft this? No. You don't want to do draft? No. No, I just... <laughs> in the stream now. Yeah, in the stream. <laughs> just, just edit now. It's it's done. You, you, you messed up. You're not on time or anything. And, and <laughs> things crashed and burned. I'm just like... Honestly, I, I, it's fine. <laughs> it happens. So, so you're doing the premiere draft, I assume? Yeah, let's do the premiere draft. And then I'll hop into more games. Uh, we won't, you know, I, unfortunately we won't be able to stream like the games on the Strixhaven party thing because I can't get it. I need another camera and it's not working right now. We have the other one, but that one had to be reinstalled and it's like, yeah. So You can just play it without you being on camera. Oh, no, no, no. It's not just that. Mm -hmm. This will literally, it's only, it's only responding to this. I have to literally delete all the channels on oh, here. Oh, weird. Oh, wait, no, you know, I could just, you're right, I could just, like, create a new channel. Like a, yeah. I'd have to not be able to, I'd have to not use this camera at all. So I couldn't even do full screen. Mm -hmm. But I could create a new channel. But mm -hmm. then we'd have to sh shut this down, and then i have to go do it, and then i have to come eh. back. It's it's way too much troll. Whatever, I did Happy's thing. How I did get a token entry. Uh, I bought the full thing. Oh, right. Because I was like, whatever, I'm going to play this set. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna play it. So, so yeah. So we'll use the token entry. Cool. So we'll draft it and see how we do. But yeah, I am. <sighs> Technical difficulties. Sit ready. Oh yeah, I need to be ready. Well, there's a, it's fine. There's other people that aren't ready. I, can, I, can take no, I know, but I just uh... also I'm happy. My deck did really well against Tappy. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm playing Magic Legends, apparently one of the few people. Um, oh, did everyone give it up? It's been a weird Honey. ride. Hey, Cody, you should do that. No. Why not? I don't want to do Cody. It's great. Cody the Voracious Codex. Luciferous. Cody the Voracious Codex. It spells quite good. Fine, I'll take Cody. I'm not going to play Cody, but I'll take Cody. Who does it have it? Memory lapse. So we haven't drafted this, have we? No. Uh, Ingo saw me. Oh, uh, that one's really good. The Alf Shield Mage is also very good, yes. Pillar Drop is also good. This is also quite good. I'm going to have to take Ingo saw me. Why? It's a very good lesson. Oh, right, and it keeps you in openish. It keeps me openish, and then it also, like, not that the Outland's not worth it, it is worth it, so. We cannot play permanent spells. Oh, I'm gonna build him so fast. <laughs> of course you are. Uh, I just want all of my bullshit on display. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have self doubt right now. I'm just like, I hold my antics so it doesn't get in trouble or like they annoy people or something. What do you mean? Just with early hurts, just everything crashing for me. It's fine. <laughs> I was just sitting there like, what? I thought I thought it was in chat too, and I was like, oh no, it's chat hearing all this this drama of me like running for oh. Oh wait, no one took this? It's hmm. Excel put a plus one on round and a half, discard a card and draw a card when you discard it's a sorcery this way, it deals damage equal to that cards magnified to target creature. That's really good though. Yeah. Like it does require stuff, but <sighs> Do I wanna go green for smart? No. I would like to use Rise of Exodus, though. But Lorehold, I'm learning Lorehold. 
Hmm. Or is it Exodus? Because I want to play it. <laughs> I, I, that, that was not actually a very good pick on my part. That was not it's a, a good, good pick. Card. Or is it Exodus? Yeah, yeah, but I think the other one was better, to be quite honest. But... This is actually stupidly good. <laughs> Lash of Fire is good. Do I kill things, or do I... Let's murder. Murder is fun. I built a deck. I, uh, silver Murder quill. is fun and profitable. I built a silver quill deck in draft that had 15 lands in it. And it was just like those like little pumpers in white that you get. And then a bunch of pump spells. It did pretty well, actually. Does it and also Shandrix. I did get Shandrix. I had like the best lore hold thing. I don't know why did I just go thinking about it way too much. <laughs> I've made my decisions. I did not. I've made my decisions, even though I'm dressed like a boar holding. So I found that there are, for your cosplay idea, mm. I found that there are elephant masks out there. Like, full on, not, like, full on, full I head actually, covering. Honestly, I just, I don't really want to do the elephant mask. I just want to be kind of comfortable, so I'm just going to get the, the nose and, like, the cheap ears and that's a... I mean, yeah, but... Like, I know I can, like, go, like, super... I actually like this better. I know the flying's not. There's one that actually looks like him, too. Kinda. It's got- because he has a very specific round elephant face. Yeah, but I don't want to wear the full elephant head, because otherwise it's gonna be like... <sighs> it's not gonna- it doesn't necessarily have to be uncomfortable. The uh... No, bird! Bird! Boots. Bird! Boots. <laughs> Why are you grabbing these stupid boots? I like the boots, okay? They're not an instant or a sorcerer. They are give you flying and they make things into, they give things flying. You know what else has flying? The bird. I know. I like the boots, though. I like the boots a lot. They won me so many games and did such good work. But no, we go boots. We go boots or we go home. F it, we do the- we go through the boots. I think you got your star people. I, yeah. Or cram session, I guess. What's this thing do? Double? It's, it does double it. Okay, yeah. so it makes it four. Like what I asked the topic earlier. Okay. Oh, Arrogant Poet. Yeah, we'll grab Arrogant Poet. Just to fly and do the two. It still deals damage to you, but it's, it's still pretty good. And then when it's <laughs> not, you just don't care. There's gonna be a lot of times when it's just like you're gonna need that flying to work the charm. So. Ha ah, ah, ha! It's just is this just the brand or mm. used used to be the brand? See the burb came back. Did I grab? I no, I didn't grab that. Did I? Because there was a yeah kill spell. Okay. Um. See, burb came back. And you're not gonna pick it. Um. Actually, I it's either that or crushing disappointment. But actually, you're right. Bird. I'll pick the burb. Bird. I'll pick the burb. Bird. Because it's very clear that uh, Silver it's Quill's, a bird Silver Quill's very open. Surprisingly, Silver Quill's very open. I hope that they'll put in the variant of the avians that are like the owl people oh. in D&D. Or the, you know, the D&D supplement they have. You know, I guess I would play an owl person. I've never been big on avians in general, but owl people I would play. Yeah, because you like owls. I like owls a lot. I actually do respect and like owls too, yeah. so... Because I know you, you don't like most birds, except for, like, penguins, obviously. Oh, well, yeah. I think it goes penguins and then owls for you. And then all other birds way down at the bottom. Well, people really aren't taking more whole world thing. Well, I'm going to take this. Mm-hmm. Richard Target's spirit, instant sorcery, sure. I'm going to take this because in case we do pivot into... Oh, Pilgrim. What is with you people? Are you... Sorry, I, I love this car... You saw how much I annoyed Tom yesterday with mm -hmm. it. I just kept blocking, getting lands. Like Tom's like, "How is the white deck ramping or uh, mana fixing? Ramp, it doesn't ramp, it. but like is mana fixing better than the freaking green deck?" I'm like, "I don't know. It's happening, but guiding oh. voice, I'd say, so you have more learn." Yeah, because I do like throwing discover with guiding voice. Like the... oh, I felt so good doing that earlier with Tappy. I was just like throwing discovery, <laughs> and it was just like. I did it. I Dest oh. destiny may conf may bring me to do lore hold. Which is yeah. Funny. Except it's a copy. Um, 
trap. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty not, good. That's actually not too bad. Eliminate. Well, but eliminate. Yeah. It's probably gonna be eliminate. Ruthless card. This is like one of the best cards, though. I know it's green, but it is like the best. We could go into Wither Moon really quickly. No, you have some good white stuff. All right, all right, we'll we'll do eliminate. Ooh, what's that one? Reduce the memory. No, the Defiant Strike. Oh, Defiant Strike. This is actually quite good. I actually like that flyer a lot. Right, we get the Rise of Exodus. I'd say the Pillow Drop one. This one? Yeah. Rise of Exodus is a bird. Yeah, let's do the Pillow Drop. Don't we already have one? No. Oh, yeah, we don't. We have the other one. Yeah, we should get one. Yeah. I, I do kind of wish we'd go in Wither Bloom now. This is quite good. Oh, Mage Hunter's Onslaught's really good. Yeah, because it's like one of the best kill spells. People are seriously not going black, are they? It's very surprising, actually. Plus, it hits Planeswalkers, which is very nice. Yeah, we're just kind of in the I just keep deck right now. Drafting I, Prismari big dumb spells. I still kind of wish I had taken that Wither Bloom fight because maybe pivoting the Wither Bloom might have been a better choice. Who got Dwelling? Oh. I thought we did that at the same time. <laughs> oh, Pumble. Plum of the Forbidden. Is also very good. So is Letter of Acceptance. All these are really good. Oh, shit. These are all really good. I'd say God's Willing, though. Yeah, because when we're going. It's going to be a while. Could we ever play, play again? I, w I want to play God's Will, let's be honest. Because I love God's Will. That's like one of my favorite cards. I miss that it doesn't have... I wish it had Elspeth in the art, though. Because they put Nahiri and they put Urza in artworks. Mm -hmm. And the, the Shock had the Rao quote, but they didn't do that for her. And I'm just saying. Ooh. Another Eliminate? What the... <laughs> What's going on? What is with this draft? I think there's just a lot of good cards. In general. Spiteful Squad is very good, though. Yeah, you might need more creatures. Yeah, let's go Spiteful Squad, because we already have a lot of destruction. Well, I guess we could have used another Eliminate. Mm -hmm. I should have taken another Well, no, oh. you need creatures is the thing. Oh, the familiar. Oh, plus one. Another Arrogant Poet, another Rise of Exodus, and Plum Forbidden. Um, let's do Plum, actually. Mm. Let's draw a card. So we could, like, God's Willing into a bunch of these and draw a bunch of cards. Was it? Oh no, it's Sack. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot Sack. Well, that could uh, still work. You're making Inklings and stuff. Making one Inkling. Is it instant or sorcery? I didn't, I didn't take one of the Inklings ones. Huh? Is it this, instant or this? Or, no, the plum. It's, it's instant, so you can use it to if they try to kill your stuff. On death trigger. This is very good. You just saw how I like I. I yeah. Was, yeah, it's super good. Like, it's a good four draw. Because it's, it, worst case, it's just giving a self vigilance and then you're just whacking him. It's annoying as hell. It's one of those kill on sight cards. It is. Defiant Strike. strike. More combat professors. Hmm. Yeah, more combat professors. We'll probably take Crushing Disappointment. I don't like that card for various reasons, but, well, I like it. The effect is very good. I just don't like yeah. the theme of the card, so it's just like, can we just, like, blanket that? Can we just, like, Defiant Strike again. Um, Novice Dissector is pretty good. Or oh wait, right. Um, it's only if you gain it's a like this too. Hmm. We need like kind of a three drop here. Prolock. And there's another. Um, Rise of Exodus. Yes. Yeah. Either this one, because this is very good for the learner, no, but we don't have any lessons, but defend the campus. I, I, it's so, it was so ridiculously versatile. Like, it's actually, it's, I think this is the most underrated card in the set. It's, yeah. You go wide, you pick the other one. You need to just kill Big Thing, you pick the other one. Uh, Leech Fanatic. Oh, yeah, because we need to do it. And... Take it in case we still go pick the Lord Bolt for some reason. Although I think we're basically in Silver Coil. I might end up like drafting a lot of Silver Coil because I really like Silver Coil. Yeah. In terms of, it's it's a lot of stuff I like. Not that I don't like Lord Hold. I love Lord Hold. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well rewarded. All right. Uh, I think you got it. I mean. Oh, rip apart. No. Oh, so take the command, Brian. I know. I'm going to take the command. <laughs> I just wish I. I just wish I could take rip apart though. Why can't I rip things apart though? I mean, you could go uh, Mardu, I guess. I have done that. Grab before. that snarl if you want. Listen, we only have the one lesson with Inkling, huh? Mm-hmm. You can grab the the spirit, the flying one. Spirit burb. You know what? I'm gonna take a study break. <laughs> how much of a how much of an ass do we want to be? It's weird. That, like, I know they're meant to be meteors, but they look like sperm. On stone rain. I'm sorry. Oh, Quintus. Or Quintorius. Mm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> you could go Mardu. Mm, I can't do both. I do too much. No, I'll dig this out of my feelings for it. The agonizing remorse and not having it. Oh, goody. So we do that, right? <laughs> no. We do the Divine Gambit. Ooh, this is actually pretty good, too. I just love the expression on the frog's face. We'll take this. An unwilling ingredient. Do we want this? I think that's good. You want a lot of flyers, I think. Yeah. They're surprisingly... I was so, like a frog, though. They're surprisingly not a whole... Well, not, I don't know if I want to say not a whole lot of flyers, but like... There's, I guess I could say there are some builds that don't utilize a lot of flyers on their own. Ooh, he did the bait, for sure. But we don't. Oh, wait, no, we're not red. We're really not going red, so. Should I take the lesson? Yeah. Because we do need some lessons. We do need some more lessons. Because learn is very strong. Grabbing it from the sideboard and stuff like that is pretty strong. I can do some rewards is quite good, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, Spiteful Squad for more Death Touch stuff. That is probably should take the frog. I didn't know we'd see another one of these. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no one else is going to the Solar Coral Zone. So. But... Be right back. Okay. Excuse me, cats. Actually, did you want to bring it in the box and then maybe we can open yeah. it next? Because um... I might do the draft and then we'll open that. We're obviously taking the campus. Having a campus is very nice. Like, I'll, I can't lie. Just leave it there for now. Alright, so we're here. It's happening. A bunch of these? We should take a bunch of creatures though. I think we have a good number of creatures though, too. Because I would like to learn a little bit more. You know, I should just take in the four drop. What am I doing? No, it's too late now. I just took it because I wanted to like have a, a, something in case we need it. But the more I think about it, the more I wonder if maybe that was not the best choice. We have so many, like, we already have a pill drum and 75 drums already, that's not. So we get rid of the basic stuff first. We're probably not going to throw in the lore hold. I know. I know. I'm a traitor in my class. Just... These are all very good, though. It's just some of that stuff came late, and it's just like the, the other stuff was just very good. 
So I don't really want to do the cyborg. Uh, Ingo Sonic can go on the cyborg. We'll lose it for later. I should have focused more on three drops. Um, well, I do have two three drops here. We have like 50. There we go. Now it's updated. So it's what it needs to be now. I don't really stack up things. Here's your hand. Alright, so we don't need. No, start right now. Hi, I'm back. Okay. Actual creature count is 15. Okay. That's a good number for creatures that we have, so. And we do this, right? Oh, wait, it's this one, so. No, let's see our start. We don't need start keeping. I can go on the sideboard. I'm talking to Enigma behind you. Probably looks like I'm crazy. I mean, I already thought no. <laughs> we have learn here. I have learn here. Two more cards to retrieve. Indeed. Oh, Is that wait, a fact? You may sacrifice one more creature. I'm pretty sure she can be picked up on the mic from there because I was listening to your stream with Tabby earlier. At one point, I cleared my throat and I could hear myself clearing my throat. How did um, it sound? Did everything look okay? It looked good. Oh, good. The, the, everything looked fine? Yeah, everything? it looked okay. great. You you know, you, it all looked good. I just was, you know, at one point I cleared my throat and heard myself, and I'm like, oh, whoops. I didn't know it was going to be that sensitive. <laughs> That's not the way she wrote it. Like, okay. Indeed. It's almost time for her lunch. There go. She must begin to yell at me. Now, do the college things work? What college things? The college sleeves that I have that for some reason are still blank on here. Oh, weird. I'm pretty sure I put the codes in earlier and then they just, they aren't here, so. They were here, though. Like, yeah. Like these little all ones I have, but I don't know why the ones aren't here. Well, now people are like, oh, hey, someone's showing money. Like, ah, uh, that's... Don't read too much into it. I don't want to do this, and I don't want to have to spend more later on. It's like, I might as well just get it now so I have the track and all that jazz. Oh, I was going to do the box opening. <laughs> well, we can play a game. We can play then. a game, and then we'll do the box opening really quickly. You can express yourself with your opponent with emotes, like with your avatar, which is funny because emotes are the first thing people turn off. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. They do. There we go. Uh, we have Eliminate. We go first? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to keep this. Now we have to do it, so. I like it too. They're still keeping. I know. I just do this because I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm like, hurry up! Come on! What? I love a lot of light in this stuff. Uh, environmental studies. Mind better. <laughs> you have to understand education. How to understand. You have to understand history. Education is important. Oh. <laughs> I didn't Ow. do that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, she ran off. Hang on. Is that her? Where did you say? No, I was going to be. Oh, that's a good one. Really? Wow, what a bloody... What a bloody ass. I'm sorry, I'm... It's gonna happen. You don't... You don't play Stone Rain. You just don't. Don't be like that. 
Oh, you're playing and you're playing lore hole. <laughs> yeah, right. You wish you could be in lore hole. You're not good enough to be in the armor class. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like act I'm actually really super. Say it was nice to wake up with the smell of banana bread. I'm happy you liked it. <sighs> what did you get upset at them for doing? They stone ranked my dual land. Oh, weird. You don't get to play Quintus. I'm I'm I really don't like this person right now, and I'm ready to freaking they're they're gonna freaking die. This can draw my cards return to return to amount of value to a less. I'd say this guiding voice. We really need the land that much though. I mean, it's a sort of person to put down. It's the... Let me turn that down just a little bit. There we go. Now you're gonna kill it. Or you're gonna kill the response. I guess not, alright. Oh, I should put the swamp on, because I actually have too many planes. Oh well. I'm sorry, Quintus. You are a friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to do this because you're freaking. Um, wait. No. For yourself. Wait, let's cancel. This is. No. Okay. Okay, Silver so. Command. It's in the order, so target it's this. Player draws and a then card. this. Okay, so, so you target, target yourself. myself. Draw a card. Glad it warned you. Oh, target opponent. Oh, okay. It does say target opponent. Thank mm -hmm. gosh. Let's see you stone rain again, you piece of. Sorry. I don't like stone rain at all. <gasps> it's necessary to target it. You may pay two if you copy it back. So it gets. It, it does bigger things.
let's see who we got some. Mage Hunter's Onslaught is... Is it Sorcery or Instant? This one is Sorcery. So you might want to do that now on the Reflective Golem. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's what you get for destroying my land. <laughs> No, a true Lohorian. Destroy a true Lohorian would not destroy the land around an excavation site. How dare you? <laughs> How dare, good uh, person? How dare? You never destroy the land around an excavation site. <laughs> that, that's you're archaeology an 101, huh? Unless you're an early archaeologist. Yeah, and then, what did they do? They blew it up, and then we all lost a bunch of stuff, So, and that really sucked. It really did. You do not blow up a land. Do not destroy the land around an excavation site. Just because I'm playing Silver Cold does not mean that I'm, you know, not still Lorehold and I'm wagging my finger. Th th I, this is my, this is definitely my college. Because you know how pissed off I get about archaeological stuff. About like, you know. I think that's kind of, isn't that kind of the thing with Lorehold is that there's kind of half of them that are like, maybe careful with history. Full, yeah. And the other half is like, let's. Go spelunking and blow things up to get history and like. Well, they can recreate it to be fair magically, yeah. but it's still dumb to do. That's not what you're supposed to do. I like the other half. They're like, no, 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 leave it the way it is. Did you? I'm sure you've heard about this. That the thing where people were saying there was a curse on like probably King Tut's tomb was actually tomb common. It's the fungus. Yeah, it, it was. It was, really it was a particular fungus that grows in tombs. And what happened? Education for a while. Tomb Common's tomb. Um, and so it's a. It's a Regular practice now to do when they open up tombs, any tombs really, not mm -hmm. just Egyptian tombs, um, is to air out first. Yeah. Because what it is is that there was this particular fungus or something that was growing in there that would cause the air to basically become toxic. So when they opened up Tomb Common's tomb, they didn't air it out. They just opened up and like, let's dive right in, everyone. And people got seriously sick off it because they breathed in all the fumes and they breathed in all the, the stuff. So it made them sick. So that might be what the curse was. Awesome. Which is oddly good in some one way. I hate to say it. And, you know, obviously, you know, you know, those poor people, I'm so sorry. But it's oddly good for because that may have prevented tomb robbers. Mm -hmm. So people who may have tried to go in there might have passed I out mean, died. it took a while for it to take effect, but to be fair. this is true. Also, to be fair, it was already, like, completely sealed and lost. So no one really got in there anyways. Because now I think about it, wouldn't really stop tomb robbers that much. Um. Oh, did fun, you? What? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Fun thing, too. Um, if you're ever an archaeologist. Let's open that box. Don't just also. don't just eat random honey you find in tombs. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a group. Uh, it was a it was I a think it was, research it, group. And it was it was students and their their professor. Mm -hmm. And they went out there and they found the thing of a jar. It was like in oh, a, like an Egyptian tomb. I think it was. I don't know if it was Egyptian or not. But I know it was definitely as a tomb. And they they opened up the jar and the jar there was a bunch of honey. And they were like, well, honey lasts forever. Why don't we just have some ancient honey? Why not? Sure, why not? So they ate the honey. They ate the honey. Let's see how bad this goes. So no, they didn't die. No, they all were fine, as far as I know. Um, however, they ended up doing analysis of what the honey was. And what was it? It was baby fetuses? Miscarriages. It was ba miscarried what? baby fetuses. Yes, preserving in the honey. That they that they used as like a mummification, essentially. To honor them and stuff. They put it in the honey to preserve them. It had dissolved into the honey. <laughs> this is why you just don't eat random <laughs> things. Like, that That professor's tenure should have just been pulled right there. Like, how... <laughs> how those students should have... No, you don't do that. You don't do this on digs. You don't eat things you don't know about. You don't destroy or blow things up. Unless it, you know for sure it can be a complete controlled destruction and won't blow everything away no you don't do that also do you you know the three words that piss piss off every archaeology hmm. every archaeology student right what library of alexandria library of alexandria <laughs> it's always going to be the library of alexandria well, at least the library of alexandria doesn't lead to you getting a super curse by eating mummified fetuses i I mean, if there is a curse, yeah, they might have gotten cursed. If not, they probably got real sick. Because I can't believe that eating people... Because they essentially just ate people, so... I mean, it's people... A, it's a minor cannibalism. There, it's a little there, cannibalism. There have been histories of people, like, eating ground-up mummies for medicinal purposes. 
heard of this, right? I've heard. No, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I've heard of it. People will do I've that. heard of all of it. I try People to, actually used I try to put to think about brown it. up mummies in paint called Mummy Brown. Mm, I know. Just, and like, there used to be like no un- mummy there's unwrapping no respect parties. For the dead. There's, <laughs> there's like no respect for the dead. People are so fucking are so freaking weird. Like there's no respect for the dead. All right, I'm gonna let's let's think about something lighter and like open a box of Strixhaven instead of just. Oh, I could go on. Please don't. <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think we need to gross everyone out any more than they have. To I do. like grossing people out because it means they retain the information more. Just like I have retained this information. I know. Well, the lot of it we learned from uh, Kinkilla, so yeah, he's one of our archaeology teachers. Really, he's a really cool guy. Has great stories about nearly being eaten by crocodiles as he's <laughs> trying to discover things. Yeah, he was. He was a. Um... He studied Mayan stuff usually. I mean, he studied all sorts of things. But, like his main focus was, I believe, Mayan culture. Yes. Oh, I I remember that once he got his because he he originally only went for his masters and then uh-huh. he was like, oh, and then he had more time and he's like, okay, I'm going to get the professorship. And as soon as he got his doctorate, he's just like, oh, I'm professor now. I'm Doctor Kinkilla. Doctor Kinkilla. <laughs> not, he was not. He's he is not arrogant, but. Yeah, I, no, he's not arrogant, but, like... He, he's not, like, bad arrogant. Like, I think there's I think there's some moments where he gets a little arrogant, but he's like, but I'm cool, because I'm, like... I mean, what Because he's, like, I'm, I'm like... I feel like Indiana Jones, man. Wouldn't you? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> there's, there's, like, a minor set of arrogance that you're allowed to have, and Kikilla has that, that right amount of, like, it's not because he's a... He's a he's not an ass. He's not an asshole. He's not a horrible person. He's really cool. Like, he, he mm-hmm. he's really nice and sweet, and he cares, and he, like... You know, if you're having trouble with class or anything else, you can just approach him, talk to him, all this jazz. So. But it's just, it's funny how he got so like, into, like, I'm a doctor. I think that's just a it. thing, because it takes a lot of work to get a doctorate. It really so does. So when you do, it's like, it's like, no, I, my name is now doctor. <laughs> I've thought about, like, I've told you before, I've thought about going back to get the doctorate, but I don't know if I really want to or not. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll have to see if I do. I mean, it might not, uh, newsflash, it might not be archaeology, I get a doctorate in it, but... Um, it'd probably be more film studies, but I also kind of, there's a part of me that's like, you see me like a little archaeology, maybe I should just go. We should do archaeology, archaeology film. That's what he did. That's what Kikilla did. He did film, but he... like, do it as a doctorate. I wonder if you could... People have gotten some very weird doctorates. Maybe we could do that if I find a special place to do it. We'll see. Anyways, hi. Uh, we were opening a box of Dracarys. Would you? So I just had like this flash of like I could completely change my life. <gasps> I could completely rethink my entire life and just do that instead. And it's like, oh, we'll see. Surprisingly, even though a doctor takes that's how you do the thing, so you can make it easier. Like it's like a thingy. So I'm going to hold on, Ron. I'm going to actually flip this because I need. Oh yeah, to. that would be a good idea. Just... That way it's easier. I can actually use the real. Transform. Now you get to see, er, hello everyone, you all get to see how the sausage is made. Transform. There we go. Transform, transform, transform. Can I, can I open the first one? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't going to stop you on that. So, if anyone's ever noticed, um, there's this weird, this specific, I don't know if you can see this specific perforated kind of thing. These are usually meaning that these are made from the gym. I think one of the factors is the Japanese ones, mm-hmm. and the Japanese ones have very good quality in terms of foils and stuff like that. So if you're trying to look for the good foils, get the Japanese cards, get some of the foreign cards because they still kind of like have the high brand. It seems like the American ones are the ones that are being garbage right now. So, although I think I've seen some, um, there we go, not right now. I think I have seen some European ones that are pretty. That's why I didn't. We so newsflash, we we did not get a box of collectors mm-hmm. this time. We are not doing collectors. Because I'm tired of getting like foils that curl like bad. Although I heard that they're supposed to be better for this one. Yeah, but still. But still. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't completely believe that, but you know. We'll see. Here we go. Knowing about openings of this stuff and everything, and I could just, you know, use the actual seal thing that's on these damn things. Oh, this is a box of set boosters, by the way. Yes. Just so everyone knows. Mummified. Jesus? Gosh, just never. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. It's still gonna bother me every time. So, so the first thing is we have our card. Ooh, it's the Time War card. Mm-hmm. It's the Mystical. That's. Ter- 
I love these archive cards. They're very, very pretty. We got Island. Exciting. It is an exciting island. Environmental studies. Search your library for basic land card. Repeal it, put it into your hands, shuffle your library, draw a uh, game two, which you may have seen in the draft. Um, Expel. Is I target capped creature? Was expelled. Yeah, I do love this card, and it also felt good that I fell for that stupid person who wanted to be Lord Holt. Wanted to be Lord Holt. Really, discovery. You gain two life, then you may discard two cards. If you do draw three cards, again, love. I like this. I like this card because I did it very well against Happy. Uh, Tome Shredder. <laughs> what did you say? The controversy is that people don't. It's people not a dog who yeah. ate your homework. It's a wolf who ate your homework. Yeah. So haste. Uh, tap exile targets. Instant sorcery from your graveyard. Put plus one plus one counter. This is really good, actually. Excavate a wall. It's a wall. One mill card for mm. one zero four. It's not a lot there. Illustrious Historian. Which we've seen. Yeah, which is a 3-2 tapped. Well, technically this is a separate video, so. Yeah. The exile. And we have Blackest Trudge, which we also saw in our draft, which is Enter's Battlefield tapped. Uh, it's a 4-2, and then you can return it from your graveyard to your hand. Activate only if you gain life this turn. Oh! Hey! We have Roan. And Will. Scholar of Sparks. Wow. Tunny. <laughs> Stop simping over Rowan. <laughs> I mean, we're all kind of doing that unless you're actually a will person. So I'm sure there's some people who are will people. Um, I want the pretty lady. <laughs> she is a very pretty lady. It's, so two in a red. Instant sorcery spells you control cost one less to cast. Rowan, Scholar of Sparks, deals one damage to each opponent. If you've drawn three or more cards this turn, she deals three damage to each opponent instead. And you, it's for plus one. And then neg four, loyalty. Uh, you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell. You may pay two. If you do, copy that spell and meet you new targets for the copy. I'm really eager. And on the back is Will, Scholar of Frost. Who does similar things, except in blue. Instant sorcery spells you uh, cast cost one less to cast. Up to one target creature. So the plus one has up to one target creature has base power and toughness zero two until you return. Make three loyalty. Draw two cards. Uh, next seven exile up to two, uh five target permanents for each permanent exile this way. Its controller creates a zero four red and uh blue and red elemental creature token. So I have I have a question about these. That I keep thinking about if I were to have two of those in my deck, the Will and the Rowan, would I be able to play each of them if they were on their different sides? If you have each of them in your deck, like if I have a Rowan and play it, can I then play a Will yes, side? Yes, because they okay. don't count for each other. Yeah, this that's that's the whole point. Of the M, M the first thing. DCs, yeah. So then we have Accomplish Alchemist. Three and green. And what? Excuse me. I want to be in the same color. Deck? Yes. Well, no, this is an actual Strict Haven card. It is, it is in the Commander deck, though, but if you buy the deck, yes, it's in there. But it's a Strict Haven. Accomplish Alchemist. So tap it at one mana color. Tap it at X mana of any color where X is the number of life you gain. Oh, yeah, that's Al. He's a chemist. Negate. Negate. If you don't know what negate does, counter target non creature spell. It got or, to the point blue. where I just had like all different art negates. F foil, plant dog, oh. bayou griff. As additional mm -hmm. cast, uh, cost to cast a spell, sacrifice, or pay three. And, and we did get a list card too on top of it. Interesting. It is Alpha Kai Kovu. Kaifu? Kavu. Is it Kavu? Mm -hmm. Alpha Kavu. Three, two, and a green. One in a green target Kavu gets neg one plus X plus, or plus one. one until end of turn. I don't know why I said X. Kavu years instinctively protect their herds from harm. That was actually a pretty cool pack. Yeah. You want to do the next one? Yes. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Can you move a little bit? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So I can get in there. Um, uh, well, I cannot move a little anymore. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> There seems to be a cat thing next to us. So Sorry. Like, like, oh, hold on. What? Wait, no, I can't. What am I? What's stopping me? Oh, you know what's stopping me? What? Your desk. Oh, sorry. I um, I like your new desk, but it's not. It doesn't. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so it's this. So we have a foil mountain. The yes. Art card one. Oh, art card. Um. Oh, that's the 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 dude. The decipher or the the, the, the dissector dude. Dissector dude. Well, Mountain with kind of a cool art thing. Introduction to Annihilation as our lesson. I like that introduction. That's a wonderful lesson to learn first. Okay, Relic so how slot. do I annihilate something? 
Sloth. Make your mark. This, this is not sloth sounds of sloths of loving sloths. It's being terrified by sloths. Twin scroll shaman. Enthusiastic study. Oh, Lorehole Campus. Devouring tendrils. Um, fortifying draught. Pestilence cauldron. Oh, good. I need is our rare. Um, discard a card, make a pest. Uh, one each opponent mills equal to the amount of life you've gained, and exile four cards from a single graveyard, draw a card. I'm, it has a flip side just to show sort of burst, um, which is cool. And revitalize is our art card. Mm. Golden ratio. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a foily golden ratio. And an inkling token. It's an inkling. Um, Wait, I don't put, know where you're putting put, your tokens. Put the tokens just in the lands for now. Okay. Well. And then you can sort yeah, that. Yeah, rares will go here. Lands will go. We'll still put foil lands in there. And we'll, let's color this. That's more hold, more hold. Red. Oh, we have two spots for red. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do the sorry thing? Also, I just noticed we're kind of like off camera just a little bit. Give me a sec. Bring it all. Bring it all down. Why'd you put Accomplished Alchemist? To, oh, is it foil? What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. It's not with the green. It's supposed to be with the rares. Oh. I got silver. Actually, I'll put the negate there, too. Well, no, I'll put them all in there, because also the list card's kind of a weird rare. Not really, but you know what it means. It's special enough that it mm -hmm. can go there, so. Um, yeah, then red, land, green, 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 and then foil, Simic. I'm just going to put all the multicolor in one pile. Mm -hmm. oh, well, it's not too hard to figure out, so. All right, next pack. Let's crack this open and see what we got. Um, just see the AMSR. I, I don't think that's AMS. I mean, maybe for some people. Uh, but... Oh, wait, never mind. You're right. That's a bad, that's a specific, never mind. I don't know. Well, it's not, it's not an, a bad, it's not, so ASMR is not sexual, first of all. Okay. But it is like, I don't think. I was like, did I get that completely wrong? No, like, no. I didn't think it was, but. It's just, I don't know if it's just necessarily a pleasant sound. This. <laughs> Ooh. Which one is this one? Oh, uh, Cultivate. Oh, this is the Cultivate art? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, put that with the art cards. Planes. It's a planes. It's a plain planes. It's more right. environmental studies. We have to take more environmental studies, dang it. Mage uh, Hunter's Onslaught. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its control loses one life, which we saw in the draft. And that did pretty well for us. Defend the Campus, which I said is a very versatile card. Three and white creatures you control get plus one until in turn destroy target uh, creature with power four or greater. I like this card. I don't remember what the rating actually was for it. It's probably bad, but I still like it a lot. Um, it was just so versatile like the first night. It's, I still think it is. Uh, campus Guide. Enter the battlefield. You may search your library for basic land card. Reveal it. Then shuffle and put that card on top. Prismari Campus. Oh, it's just so you know if you don't know what the campuses do. When they enter the battlefield, they enter the battlefield tapped. They were dual land, so they a tap for each color of the mana for the college and then tap four and scry uh or yeah pay four tap and you scry one fracture which actually is worth a bit because mm -hmm. it's a great cyborg card for constructed destroy mm -hmm. target artifact enchantment or planeswalker oh, sure I, I can put it in. Let's go. uh clove or clever i'm sorry clover clever uh lewin answer magecraft that's so a good you, one whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell uh clever Le lunamancer gets plus two until in the turn oh yeah this one's also people were saying this might see some play that might be a very valuable card uh professor of symbology symbology when professor of symbology enters the battlefield learn and of course learn is you may reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand or discard a card to draw a card also, uh, I be, be, believe it's Vanessa Lay cosplay. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, model for this one. This is really cool. She's the one I bought the camera from, actually. Ooh. Strixhaven Stadium, which I almost I almost killed someone with it. If I just had messed up, I was doing so well, and yes. I just needed to win with this. And I was, Arena, I hate you, Arena, so much misclicking. Um, three, tap, plus point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, remove a point counter from Strixhaven Stadium. 
Whenever a creature you control does combat damage to an opponent, put a point counter on Strixhaven's DM. Then if it has 10 or more point counters on it, remove them all, and that player loses the game. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes. nice! Tefer I need Teferi's Protection. Teferi's Protection, 2 and a white. Until your next turn, your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything. Mm. And all permits you control phase out. And then exile it after it's done. It's basically like, peace everybody. Ooh. Hey! It's a foil Urza's Rage. Nice. This one seems like, it's a kind of a common foil, but it's still really damn pretty and still yeah. really cool. So Urza's Rage is two and the red. Kicker, eight and a red. You may pay as an additional uh, to the mana cost. This spell can't be countered. And it'll deal 3 damage to any target, and then if it's kicked, it'll deal 10 damage to that permanent player. Uh, that damage can't be prevented. Mm -hmm. that, that was, these are some pretty good passes. Ooh, we got the Blood Avatar. I like that token. Alright, here, here you go. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay. That's real pretty. I like, I love these cards. I hope we get more Lightning Bolts, though, because I do want a lot of light. I need these Lightning Bolts. I need both helix. It's kind of helixes. I, there's a lot of ones I want both versions um, of. Between this okay. and the Japanese, I mean. Art card is... What is I, that? I have no idea what that is. I think it's a land. Is it a snarl, kind of... maybe? Maybe. Is it a simic snarl? It says on the it's back, land. actually, honey. Oh, it does? Yeah. Um, It says island. Oh, yeah, it's just islands. Uh, island. I like the swamp. It's pretty. Um, Containment Breach. Is Mari Pledge Mage. Waterfall Aerialist. Spectacle Mage. I like Spectacle. Mage a lot. The cheap gun spells. Uh, Pigment Storm. Pop Quiz. I like Pop Quiz, too. Return to Past Color. Oh, that's a nice one. Lorehold Apprentice. Hmm? Fury Calm Snarl. Oh, nice. It's, so it's one of the snarls. Um, Claim the Firstborn, which has a weird baby in the middle. It has a weird baby, and it has a weird, even creepier goblin thing. And Foil Berry in books. Okay. Oh, Prismari Art Club. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that's for, it's but... It's an ad, but... And then a spirit on the yeah. back. Something tells me you would want that, though. Yeah. What? Did I, did I hide blue somewhere? Colors, colors. Do we just... Maybe we just haven't gotten blue yet. Did we just... Did we really not get blue cards already? I'm pretty sure we did. I, okay, I guess... Not. Not mono blue anyway. Well, I have two colorless piles, so that's why I thought I think I had a blue pile. How oh, weird. Okay, well, there we go. We have a blue pile now. Red, blue, red, red, rare, rare, blue, arc club. Welcome to the arc club. Arc. It's. Welcome to the arc club. I was kind of sad about this because I. So. I don't mind them having the different packs, but for the good gosh, I mean, I really think they should just have draft packs and put a lot of stuff, cool stuff in there anyways, but whatever. Um, and the set ones are fine for just cracking, especially nowadays, but I do wish they would just, please, make it clear what's in there, because I thought we only got archive cards and no rares, and I was like, well, now I don't want this box, it's like, oh no, and then Gavin opened them up, and I was, I was like, and was like, oh no, no, there's rare, there's the rare that you're supposed to get in every pack, I'm just like, Oh, good. Thank you that you said it on your stream because, or on your. Thing. Oh, it's one of the professors. It's or the, the dean. deans. Yeah, it's the Simic Dean. The bird. Quadrix Dean. It's a forest. Welcome, forest. Reduce the memory. One in a lesson. And lessons can be treated by uh, cards that you learn from your sideboard. Exile target now and permanent. Its controller creates a 3 2 red and white spirit creature token. Waterfall Arius, which is Saw. We saw Spectacle Mage, which is instant source of spells you cast with mana uh, value 5 or greater, possible unless the cast. Pigment Storm, 3 and 2 red, deals 5 damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to that creature's control instead. It has Trample. I'm still going to say it has Trample. Pop quiz again. This pack seems very similar. Mm -hmm. And learn. Oh, there's the Hall Monitor. There's your finger. Kind of your favorite card. One of them. Hall Monitor, 1-1 one, one taste. Uh, one in a red target creature can't block this turn. It's a lizard shaman. Access tunnel. Add uh, colors three target creature power three less can't block. I'm surprised I don't see more people draft that one. Yeah, I'm surprised for that too actually. And I put oh, red. Okay. Storm in red. I'm very surprised for that too. It breaks board stalls, which is nice. Mage hunter. 
Whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant sorcery spell, they lose one life. This is quite good. Mm -hmm. It trains them like over time, and then they also. Leon Lightscribe. Interesting. Whenever you cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Ooh. Your favorite. I hate this stupid card. I really hate snakes in Veil, but plus one, plus one, another time. Sorry, Richard. It gains hexproof. Oh, foil effigy. Fuming effigy. Whenever one more cards leave your graveyard, if you manage to deal one damage each upon. People always seem to kill this before I get it off, which is fair. It's like a, it's a 4 3 and it just kind of will burn them together eventually. <sighs> Here you go. I don't know why I have Space Jam stuck in my head right now. Welcome to the Space Jam. Space Jam. Welcome to the, I just I just have that those two those lyrics of Welcome to the Space Jam. Space Jam. Welcome to the Space um, Jam. Whoop. It is a the red blue snarl, I believe, is what this is. Um Yes, Frost Boil Snarl is the art. Uh, another pretty swamp. Um Pest Summoning. Uh makes two pests and it's a lesson. Um Lorehold Pledge Mage, annoying card. First strike in Magecraft to give plus one plus oh. Uh, combat professor we saw earlier. Um, so I'm with the shield mage. Um, silver cool pledge mage. Um, when you cast or copy into blah blah blah, it gains a flying or life link. Very cool. Um, campus lands over there, I assume. Um, honor troll vigilante. If you would gain life, you gain that much life plus one instead. It has plus two plus one as long as you have 25 or more life. Hey! Oh, hey! It's the Deans. Um, hang on, let me. Where's the green? Uh, Shala. Sh. 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 Shali? Shale? I think it's Shala. Shale, the Dean of Radiance. Uh, Flying Vigilance put a 1 1 counter on each creature that entered the battlefield under your control this turn. Um, Imbros, Dean of Shadow, Human Warlock, put a 1 1 counter on another target creature. Then he smacks that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, is the flavor that's unfortunate wording on huh, because of the story i know i know it's but just, like i'm just saying that's apparently the flavor yeah um, <laughs> it's not great when flavor. a creature you control with a plus one plus encounter on a dies draw a card i mean if it were any other situation i would find it would it, be fine but it's yeah yeah the wording's unfortunate yeah let's move on uh <laughs> um body of research which i'm very excited about yes that was a rare by the way the other one uh -huh. The Dean this, is a rare. I know it's a rare, but body of research, though. Yeah, I know. Um, create a zero zero fractal and put X1 on counter so they were the number of cards in your library. Mm -hmm. Animate library base. Ooh, gross and grip. Um, okay, so come on, color, destroy tart, split second, destroys an artifact or enchantment, and a foil stonebound oh, mentor. He's a foil stonebound. I love it. Yeah. Um, and then what is the list? And it's a treasure. Oh, you're going to need those, actually. You need those for your. Yeah, I need lots of treasures. Oh, it disconnected to me from a ring. Oh, good. We took way too long. <laughs> uh, you want to open yours? Yeah. Well, let's, let's do that. Okay. Oh, uh, this is multicolored. I put it in white accidentally. All right, so we have elemental to what? What are we doing? That's the back. Well, we have elemental to. Oh, uh, what's the art? Art? Oh, it's revitalized. Yeah. No, yes, this is revitalized. Looks very pretty. Mountain. Uh, Mucural transformation until end of turn. Target non-land permit loses all abilities and becomes your choice of a frog. Your choice of a blue frog creature. Uh, with base power and toughness, 1-1, one, one, or blue octopus creature with base power and toughness, 4-4. Four, four. Arrogant Poet, which apparently my, is my old brand. Um, when Arrogant Poet attacks, you may pay two life if you do it gains fly on the turn, which is solved. We saw Spiteful Squad, which is uh, in draft, which is Death Touch. Death Touch. Uh, <laughs> Spiteful Squad enters the battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. When Spiteful Squad dies, but it's counters on target creature control. Their point. Their game, game is on point. They, I like how they all have the side cuts. Yeah. Well, they're the squad. They got a match. Eager first year. Magecraft. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, eager first year gets plus one plus one until end of turn. White. There's white. 
Bookworm, which is oh one God. of the most hilarious names in the whole thing. Seven and a green. When Bookworm enters the battlefield, you gain three life and then draw a card. Put the Bookworm from uh, two in the green. Put the Bookworm from your graveyard into your library throw from the top. Wither Blue Apprentice, which is a severely underrated for some reason. Yeah. When you cast this instant spell or sorcery, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And I don't know why people don't play this card. This is, I mean, they play this card at least because it says destroy target and online permanent. And it costs two less if you can't gain life this turn. So mm -hmm. two in green and black. Ooh. Overgrown Arch Defender. Sacrifice Overgrown Arch Learn. And you can also, uh, for two, and you can also tap uh, to gain, gain, life. gain a life. Hey! Tempted by the Orek. For each opponent, gain control of uh, up to one target creature planeswalker that pl controls with mana value three or less. Compulsive research. Hey! Two and blue. Target player draws two cards, then that player discards two cards unless they discard a land card. And a a very pretty introduction to prophecy. Nice. Scry two, then draw a card. That's a lesson. And more art club. Yeah, more art club. Okay. okay. Oh, um, oh, uh, that's a uh, grape shot. It's supposed to be this way. Yeah. Um, it means intro to annihilation. Which we, we did that one. Uh, so. teach by example. When you cast your next instant or sorcery this turn, copy it. Um, and you may choose new targets. Resculpt. Exile target artifact or creature to make a 4-4 elemental token. Uh, where's the blue? blue. Elemental masterpiece. Makes two 4-4 four, four elemental tokens. Or you can discard it. Pay two to create a treasure. That makes a treasure when you discard it. Plum of the Forbidden. As additional cost to cast this, you may sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, copy the spell for each creature sacrifice this way. You draw a card, you lose one life. That's a really good uh, card. Probably a ED, good EDH thing. Um, oh, that's what we heard anyway. Solve the equation. Search for an instant or sorcery, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. Um, Decisive Denial. You can either fight or you can counter a non-creature spell unless this controller pays three. Torrent Sculptor. Hey. Um, when this interest battlefield exile an instant or sorcery from your graveyard and put the number of 1-1 counters on it equal to half that card's mana value rounded up. And it has Ward 2. You can flip it to a Flamethrower Sonata, a sorcery, discard, then draw. When you discard an instant or sorcery, it deals damage equal to that card's mana value to target creature or player you don't control. I probably want to put this in Glinty. Um, the rares go here, right? Mm -hmm. Silver Quill Silencer. As this enters the battlefield, choose an online card name. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with the chosen name, they lose three life and you draw a card. Um, Infuriate. It's, uh, it's very pretty art. It's Azula. Yeah. To me, it looks like Azula from Avatar. Foil Wall. And then the, the token. A uh, token is a pest, which we mentioned. Foil the wall. Ow! It's a foil of a wall. It's a foil of a wall. Foil of a wall? Yes. I don't know. I'm just saying words. Yes. I know. Come on. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I almost got this pack. It's okay. We're fine. It is. Everything's good. No token in that one, I guess. Art. Hey, it's Prismari. That's one you'd be happy with. Yeah. Island? I think. Elemental summoning. Create a 4-4 four, four, green and red element. Blue and red. Blue, oh, sorry. Blue and red elemental. I'm so used to the being elementals being green more. Um, blue and red elemental creature token. I could put some of these into my or... elemental deck, I guess. Now mm -hmm. I realize. And it's a lesson. Teach by example, which we saw. We saw teach by example. We saw the sculpt. Elemental masterpiece. We saw this one, too. Ooh, there's something good underneath there. Uh, Sudden breakthrough. Target creature gets plus two plus O oh, and gains first strike until end of turn, and then I always forget about that token. second part. Not the treasure token, but the first. The strike. first striking. It's very. It's actually quite good. Yeah. I just didn't do it because we didn't get red. Uh, reconstruct history. Return up to one target artifact. Up to one target enchantment card. Up to one target instant card. Up to one target sorcery card. And one target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile reconstruct history. 
So this will be played in almost every Boros deck to the EDH deck until the end of time. <laughs> because we can grab everything except for creatures and that's fine. There's Quintus. Quintorius. Quintorius. Or Quint for short. Quintorius Field of the Historian. Spirits get plus one plus one. Whenever you want more uh, cards leave your graveyard, create a three, two red and white spirit creature token. Hey! This will make you happy. Uh... How you pronounce her name? Uvilda. Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. You may exile and sorcery card from your hand and put three home counters on it. It gains at the beginning of your upkeep. If this card exiled, remove a home counter from it. And when this lone how this last home counter is removed from this card, if it's exiled, you may cast it. It costs four less to cast this way. Oh, and it yes. also has Riverside. Yay. Oh yeah, that's right. Why are we going to the Riverside? They are the best one, actually. Ifrit Shaman Nasari. Mm-hmm. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. Until end of turn, you may cast spells from among those exile cards. You may spend mana as though the mana of any color to cast those spells. Whenever you cast a spell from exile, put a plus one plus one count on the Zari team of expression. Callous Blood Mage, which makes you really happy. I mm -hmm. need this vampire. Uh, two and a green, or two and a green, two and a black. I'm just thinking about how much I hate green mm -hmm. vampires. Uh, enters the battlefield, choose one. Create a one, one black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain a life and draw a card. You gain, draw a card, and lose a life, or exile target players to graveyard. I feel like you should cosplay this dude. <laughs> I know that's weird to say. Why this dude? I don't know. He just, he looks like he's having a good time. <laughs> he's got <laughs> pests on his shoulder and everything. <laughs> for each spell and ability, your opponent's control counter it unless its controller pays for life. Oh. Thrilling. Oh, thrilling. thrilling discovery. And... It is a it is a list card, Belfry Spirit. Three and two white flying haunt. When this creature dies, exile it, haunting target creature. When Belfry a spirit enters the battlefield or the creature it haunts dies, create two one one black uh bat creature tokens with flying. Interesting. This is from uh uh Original Ravnica. I think specifically Dissension, I wanna say, was when Orzov first got introduced. I mean you, I think you want to put them there. Actually. Yeah, I want to put those over there. Oh yeah, sorry. One well, is yours. I just started opening. I was like, "It's a pack. I'm all about back. It's all about back. It's a pack." Okay. Um, Flippy to uh Prismari command. Makes you very happy. It's horizontal, I think. I know. Okay. Um, foil swamp, which looks pretty neat. Um, introduction to prophecy. First day of class. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a 1-1 counter it, and it gains haste, and also you learn. It's very versatile. Letter of Acceptance. Um, it's not the guy to play that card. Professor's Wanding. Uh, put a 1-1 counter on target creature, or give a creature indestructible. Promising Dusk Mage. When it dies, if it had a counter in it, draw a card. In Igneous... In I almost said Ingenious Inspiration! Because you keep saying it, and now my brain wants to say it. It's in Igneous... <laughs> Um, anyway, deals three damage to any target and you learn. Really good card. Rutha! Rutha! I do have, I have Quint now and you have Rutha. Um, return, I mean, I had Rutha in my pre-release pack too, but like, uh, I will take more Ruthas. What? No, no, I'm just sad you have Quint in mine. <laughs> um, Reflective Golem. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets only Reflective Golem, you may two, two to target it, to, to copy it. We saw it in the other thing. Frostboil Snarl! Mm -hmm. It's the, is it one? Thrill of Possibility! Um... Leech Fanatic Foil, and... A ripped card, no, it's... it's Inkling. It's an ad. Um, they ripped a card, I can't believe it. How dare they? Ow. I don't know what I'm singing there. I want to build a Rutha deck. Yeah, it's the Pokemon. Uh, no, that's the uh, Pokemon Center thing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's one of the Pokemans. I know, you can't. <laughs> that's one of those things, it's like, what is this thing? To be fair, I will, I remember that one directly, those distinct ones, but sometimes I will forget the cities because there's so many cities now. That's like, this is, sometimes I'll get a general idea, but. Oh, it's, it's Aww. the Fox. I do want this Luka card. Just be, is it wrong with the Luka card because I want the Fox? And I don't care so much about Luca. I wish I could just play the fox in mono white. Speaking of mono white planes, expanded autonomy. Anatomy. Uh, anatomy. Oh, I'm sorry. Three 
colorless. Put two plus one plus one counts on target creature that gains vigilance until end of turn. Guiding voice. Put plus oh. one plus one counter on target creature. Learn. Oh. Accelerating elocution. Uh, two white and black. Put two plus one counters on target creature you control. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Let's call it Star Pupil. It is about to one one counter, and then when it dies, put plus one, mm -hmm. plus one counter. Put uh, its counters on target creature control. So if it doesn't get bigger, and what dies, is kind of nice is these can go into existing abs and decks now. Nah, <sighs> I don't. Let's put two target uh, plus one counters on target creature control. It gains life until it turns so two and black. With a bloom pledge mage. This is actually very good. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an or spell, you gain one life. It's a 5-5, five, five, and it has hybrid mm -hmm. with a boom blitz over and three generic. And it's a tree folk warlock. Killian. Hey, Killian! Killian's very good, actually. Again, unfortunate shame story. story. Yeah, but... shame about the story. Very good card. Yeah, he's cool. White and a black lifelink menace spells you cast that target creature uh, costs two less to task. Thunderous Orator. I still want to play this card because I feel like it could be kind of good. One in the white vigilance when Thunderous Orator attacks, it gains. Flying until end of turn if you control a creature with flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, uh, death touch, indestructible, lifelink, menace, and trample. Mm -hmm. You get the whole kit and go boodle. Hey! Culling ritual. Destroy target non land permanent with magnified. Oh, each non land permanent with magnified to a list. Add green or uh, black or green for each permanent destroyed this way. That's oh, a good that's one. quite good actually. I like that. And. Duress. Duress. I saw the star and I was thinking it looked like something cooler. I, I have mixed feelings. And the foil star people. Hello, foil star people. I guess he's a star pupil. Yes, I am. I'm a very good. <laughs> you show up now, kid. But wait, I'm so good. No, just, just be quiet, kid. Just, just be quiet. You'd be a very grumpy professor. Yes, you know I would be. <laughs> I understand all my. That's probably why I like my grumpy professors because I understand them. I'm just like it's fine. Um, oh, that's the Lorehold it's dude? Plar, yeah, it's Plar, Dean of uh, Chaos. Yeah. Um, green thing. Okay, Spirit Summoning. With a Bloom Campus. Cram Session. Uh, vanilla creature with a lot of flavor text. Professor of Zoomancy. When it enters, you make a pest. Where's my green? There it is. Moldering Crocodile. It's a giant crocodile that Taffy tried to play against me. Yes. I was very, very scared. Shade Wing Laureate. Human Warlock flying. Whenever another creature you control with flying dies, put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. It's weird this isn't a vampire. It is. Uh, humiliate. Target opponent reveals her hand. You choose a non land card. That player discards that card. Put a 1 1 counter on a creature you control. I've seen this play yet. Oh, Retriever Phoenix. Oh, I love this one. Flying Haste. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, learn. As long as Retriever Phoenix is in your graveyard, if you would learn, you may instead return it to the battlefield. Divine, the divine gambit. Yes. It's and cram session. Oh, Endling. And, oh, Endling. Hey, I have this card. Um, I have this too. So Endling gains Menace or Death Touch or Undying or plus one minus one or plus minus one plus one. It's one of those kind of shapeshiftery cards. Um, we're playing all those things. There's that list card. Then Retrieval Phoenix is here. Oh, right. Um, such a shame it's that didn't have a. Uh, Spellbook card in there. Oh yeah, no spellbook. Yeah, it's a real shame. I know I, no wait, no, it's not. Divine Gambit was in there. What? No, there, why are you talking about? No, <laughs> Gambit was in there. <laughs> you can't forget Gambit. What? I mean, I know Fox has. Oh well, yeah, Fox did. I'm making a really meta X Men joke because yes. Gambit, because Gambit was like in one movie and it was like okay. Oh, that's a. Prismari, no, not Prismari, a uh, Quandrix card of some sort. It's the one that copies, but I'm not sure which one it is. Mountain? Inkling summoning. Meh. Which I think we saw in the draft, it was 2 1 white black inkling trace to flying. That's a lesson. Probably the best lesson. A lot of people are saying this is the best one, and I have to agree. Southern Breakthrough, which you saw. Skipping cards here. Ogre, Ogar, Battleseer. Mm -hmm. Haste, Scry 1. That's 3 and. Uh, Prismari. Heated debate, which is really good. Debate me. Two red. The spell can't be countered. Heated debate deals four damage to her creature planeswalker. Red. Okay. 
Dragon's Approach, which I want to build that dumb deck that has a bunch of bees in it. Two and a red. Dragon's Approach deals three damage to each opponent. You may exile Dragon's Approach of uh, four cards and deem Dragon's Approach from your graveyard. If you do, search your library for a dragon creature card. Put it onto the battlefield and the shuffle. A deck can have an, uh, any number of cards named Dragon's Approach. Magic Duel. Mage Duel. Oh, Mage Duel, sorry. Uh, this spell costs two less to cast if you cast another insert sorcery spell this turn. Um, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until in turn, and then that creature uh, fights target creature you didn't control. Green. Charge through. Green. Target creature getting trampled until the turn to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Hey! Zamone. Quandrix Prodigy, who's also very, very cool. Uh, it's, you know, Quandrix, the two colors, and then you may put one put, may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Four and tap, draw a card. If you control any more land cards, draw two cards instead. This is still really good at this thing. Gnarled, Gnarled Professor, Professor is very good too. Two and two green. Trample when it's battlefield learn. This is a good one for limited at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, strategic planning. And a foil sloth. <laughs> We're throwing this away. Goodbye. Lore hold rocks. Yay, we rock. Oh, lore hold rock jocks, I guess. We're the rock jocks. Yay. I'm a rock jock. Rock jock. Ooh. Rock jock. Ooh. No. Rock Lobster. Ooh. Oh, right. Rock Lobster. One of those old songs. Um, yes, because I'm so terribly old. <laughs> what was a pleasant can always say something that you're only 21. What the? Um, forest over there. Um, sorry. <laughs> They're all kind of getting messed up. Uh, fractal Summoning makes fractals. Um, frost Trickster. It is a frostling, but it has wings. Uh, big play. Target creature gets plus two, plus two in reach, and put a one-one counter on it. Cause why the frick not? Quandrix Campus. Quandrix Pledge Mage gets bigger when you cast instants and sorceries. Kelpie Guide. Um, untap another target permanent you control, or tap target permanent. Activate only if you control eight or more lands. Um, Emergent Sequence. Search for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. That land becomes a fractal. I put one counter on it for each. Land had the blah blah blah. I heard people were liking Ooh. this for. Oh, okay. That I heard people were liking that card. Mm. The green card for um, destructive for some reason. So, Vampire Warlock Menace Lifelink. If a non token creature and opponent control would die, exile it instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, create a pest. And then the flip side is. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the flip uh, side is Lizette, Dean of the Root. Whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a counter on each creature you control, and those creatures gain trample. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, Tanzari! <laughs> I'm happy about the vampire, thank you. <laughs> Who cares? It's Tanazari, Tan Tanazir, Quandrix, Elder Dragon, Flying and Trample. When it enters the battlefield, double the number of counters on a creature you control, and when it attacks on my base power and toughness of other creatures, it come equal to Tanazir, Quandrix's power and toughness. Are you happy? Yes. Oh! Inquisition of Kozilek. Nice. Neat. I need these, actually. Look at all those hands. And a foil mage hunter. Inquisition of Kozilek. Uh, black cards. I got, we got the Quandrix Dragon. Because I also really wanted the Quandrix Dragon. And you know which one I really, really want, but... We'll see. Oh, the Prismarine one. Yeah. Yeah, Urza. Yeah, you, you want the fi hopefully fixed Urza. Mm-hmm. I watch it's even more broken. Oh, and that's not even more broken though, so I don't think they can top Urza, but it'll be like it'll be as broken or something. Or nearly as broken. Hey, it's it's, it's Professor of Symbology. It's Professor Vanessa. That's her name. Planes Inkland Summoning again. Ogar Balseer again. He did debate. Dragon's Approach. By the way, no, has there a, What? There's a joke I forgot to mention on He did debate. What? While you were wasting time with abstract, abstract equations like Master Ancient Ogar, Fire Magic, your move. Funny enough, right next to the Ogar. <laughs> well, that, I think that's the point of the set ones that I think about. But I just like that's the. I studied the blade. <laughs> or you were busy being heterosexual. I studied the blade. <laughs> Dragon's Approach. Mage duel. Mage duel. Charge through. Charge through. Frost trickster. That's the. the that's Lorehold excavation. Yay, Lorehold excavation. excavation. At the beginning of your end step, mill a card. If a land card was milled this way, you gain one life. Otherwise, Lorehold excavation deals one damage to each opponent. Five exile creature card from your graveyard. Create a taps 3 2 red white spirit creature token. Um, ooh, Strict Proctor. No, we don't want it. Strict Proctor. One in a white. 
When a permit enters entering the battlefield, causes a triggered ability to trigger. Counter that ability unless it's control phase. Two. I hate it. I love it. I hate it. Divine strike. It's pretty. It's pretty. Ooh. Oh, a foil for it, mastery. Five oh, and nice. green. You may pay three and green rather than pay the spells mana cost. Search your library for up to four basic land cards or heal them, but the monster battlefield tapped under opponent's control. Uh, put one of them on. Put one of them onto the battlefield tapped under opponent's control. Control if you paid the four uh, mana value. Um, put two of them onto the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest in your lot hand and then shuffle. It's a neat card. Okay, so you get if you pay retail, you get all four except two go on. Go on the field and two go in your hand. But if you do it the other way around, you only get two. Well, no, you get three. One. You get three. You get one hand, two on the battlefield still, and then your opponent gets one, too. Yes. All right. I'm sure that will make you very happy. Mm -hmm. It is for your silly green shenanigans. Like Again. Silly. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I like silly, I like silly green shenanigans. Not and that, silly red blue shenanigans. Not that I don't play green. I do play green. I, but um, I have very rare few decks. That we play got green. oh, um, Kazmina art. Maybe Kazmina's in the car. Foil Lyland. Um, Lyland. Start from scratch. Goes in red. Specter. Black. Blood Researcher. That's a really good one. That's a vampire I need. Um, Leech Fanatic. Spring Main Creven. Scurrid Colony. Closing statement. Cost two less turn your instep, destroy target creature, plane target you don't control, put a count on up to one target creature you control. In conclusion. Is this is In conclusion. Continued ink caster. Um, this is uncommon? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that was uncommon. Gosh, it's going to be so good writer. ETV, put a counter on a creature. Whenever a creature control with a counter attacks, each opponent loses one, you gain one. Silver Quill Command. Yay. Hey. Uh, where's the black? There it is. Which uh, does a lot of things. Adventurous Impulse. Um... Lash of Malice. Cool. And then the Strictly Better. It's another um, game. game thing. But you still have the ones from the other set, too, that we should use. Professor. Professor Bear. Profe no, this is Do This one is Doctor Bear, MD. The other one is Professor Bear. <laughs> There's the other bear. That's the Professor Bear. It's and when I mean by other bear, I just mean the second copy of this card that you have. Well, not that card. That card. But you know, anyways, they can't. They can't actually. So force. Yeah, they can't even see those forgotten <laughs> cards anymore. Containment breach. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Its mana value um is. If it's mana value is two or less, create a one one green pass creature token, and then when it dies, this is a very good lesson. It's a very good lesson card because you're probably going to keep in the sideboard anyways. <laughs> one in the, uh, soothsayer adapt one in the blue tap draw a card to discard a card. Field, Field trap. Field trap. Search your library for a basic forest card. Put that card onto the battlefield. Learn. Field Shoot trap. On down Main Street. <laughs> We're not going to start that magic school bus stuff again. <laughs> This is basically Rupture Spire, by the way. I was ever playing Rupture Spire. Vortex Runner. Two in uh, blue. As long as you control A or more lands, Vortex Runner gets plus one plus oh and can't be blocked. Eureka Moment. Which I love like. this Draw card. Draw two cards. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. And that one, too. Quadrix Cultivator. We need to give this to Tom. It's mm -hmm. the Turtle Druid. And when it enters the battlefield, you may pay and search your library for a basic force and add a card and put it into the battlefield and then shuffle. Ooh, Quandrix Quandrix Apprentice. Apprentice. Whenever you cast or copy any source spell, you look at the top three cards of your library, you may reveal a land card from among them, put that card into your hand, and put the rest of the bottom of the library in random order. Manifest it, manifestation stage. It's the all the Quandrix stuff, and then when it enters the battlefield, create a zero, zero green blue fractal token. Put a plus one plus on it, where is the number of cards in your hand? I think that's Ooh. such a giant thing. Oh gosh. Tezzard's Gambit. I do want to play this in draft at some point and be like, I have I draw cards. Three and uh, infect blue. Infect can be paid with either blue or two life. Draw two cards and proliferate. Such a good card. And then the flying frost lack links. Is it just me? The symbol doesn't look blue on it on Tezzard's Gambit. No, it doesn't. It's weird. 
It says it on here. Yeah, it does. But you're right, it's like not. Is there. that how it's supposed to be? The other ones actually do show a designation of color. So for some reason, I think I think it's it is supposed to be blue. Like, I oh, it, it it is blue. It is. The other ones are lined blue, so they're not filled with the color. But because oh, okay. this one's so thin, yeah, that it's hard to tell that that is a blue line. But if you look real, I don't even know if the camera can pick it up because it's so so. It does thin. it look like I thought it was a misprint or something? It does, doesn't it? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think the camera's picking. It's not it going to pick it up. But it, it, I can assure you from looking at it, it is a thin color of blue. Mm-hmm. Like I'm looking at it right now, but it's so thin that it's hard to tell. Which is kind of, it's kind of not good, but at least, you know, thank gosh you can actually, they have the reminder text. Yeah. I feel like they put it there on purpose for that. Um, I know new players probably will open these and, like, see that and be like, what the oh, heck is it? Oh, it's the one it's lady. It's the flying warlock lady. Uh, Mountainia foil, expanded anatomy, fig play, or, here, I should put, sort these, uh, Quandrix campus. Ardent Dust Speaker. When this attacks, you may put an instant or sorcery from your graveyard on the bottom of the library. If you do XL the top two cards of your library, you may play them this turn. It's a good dog. Stone a binder's familiar. Hey, my great great grandfather had a dog just like that. I love the flavor text. I wish I could use this card, not the grace, but I do want to use it because I like the flavor text so much. Go blank. Target player discards two cards, then XL all cards from that player's graveyard. I like the art on this. Uh, Wiley Beckett is very, very good and probably becoming a very popular new magic artist. Uh, Flunk. Target creature gets minus X, minus X, where X is 7 minus the number of cards in that uh, control creature's controller's hand. Mm-hmm. Um, Test of Talents. One of those kind of cards that exiles things. Lorehold Command! Ooh, yay. Which does a lot of things. Um, Village Rites. Uh, in the art... And a foil fury console. Oh, nice. And a grim harvest. Oh. Interesting. What's the recovery do? When this creature is put into a graveyard, um, when a creature is put into a graveyard from play, you may pay two and a black. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to your hand, otherwise, remove it from the game. Interesting. When a creature is put in pay it, if you do, return this card from the grave. Return this card. Mm hmm. Otherwise, remove it from the game. Yeah. So you ha- you recover, and then you have to pay the cost, and if you don't pay the cost, it goes away. Yeah. It's a weird card. I will- it's- that's from Ice Age, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I need to use that pen. It needs to go in something. It's just... It returns it to your hand. Interesting. I'm actually trying to build, like, that Esca deck. Mm-hmm. So the deck is going to just basically- it's not going to be all gods, because everyone-, everyone has, like, done that to death. Um, no offense if you like that, and if you don't do that. It is really cool, and that was something else I had thought of, too, in the beginning. But I want to build the Eska deck as just Kalheim, in parentheses. Uh-huh. And what I mean by that is I still I want to have the basically all themed around Kalheim, but then maybe put some, some you know... Other snow things. Put other snow things from Modern Horizons, but also put some things from, like, um, uh, Ice Age and Cold Snap mm-hmm. and, and all the jazz. Also, the... the Dominarian Saga, the one that was it the Song of Ice. Mm-hmm. No, Time of Ice. Time of Frost, I think. Time of Ice. Is it Time of Ice? Yeah. It's Auric. This is the one of the Auric things, but I forget what that one's called, but it's taps and then you get put counters on it for cards used. Island. Introduction to Prophecy. Leyline Invocation. Uh, five and a green. Create a zero, zero green, blue, blue and green fractal creature token. Put... X plus one plus one counters on it where X is the lands you control. Biomathematician. When Biomathematician enters battlefield, create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put a zero, zero plus counter on each fractal you control. Serpentine cave. Curve. Curve. Sorry. Uh, create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X uh, plus one plus one counters on where X is the... No, uh, the instance and sorcery is plus one in and, your graveyard. Mm-hmm. You own in exile in the graveyard. Oh, yeah, in exile too. Square up. Target creature has base power 4 uh, and toughness 4 4 until in turn. Square up with me, oh yeah. Square up with me, oh yeah. Arcane subtraction. Target creature uh, gets neg 4, neg 0 until in turn and learn. Berg, Berg Befuddler. It's a very witty frog. It's a frog wizard. One in a green. Flash. When there's a battlefield, target creature uh, opponent controls gets neg. One they go until in turn. Golden ratio. 
Oh, hey, finally, a poet's quill. Yee. If I could learn with this, I would be happy because I put an egger. But... Ooh. Putrefy. Destroy target creature artifact. It can't be regenerated. Pillar drop warden. Three and red reach. Two uh, tap and sacrifice it. Return target instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this only as a sorcery. And then it's debate. Silver quote debate. Do this. Debate me. Debate. Debate me. Debate. Time for debate. Um, okay. We got ourselves a, oh, Thrill of Possibility art. Mm. Um, and a Swamp Basic Conjuration. Look at the top six of your library, reveal a creature from among them within your hand, put the rest on the bottom in random order, you gain three. Um, Reckless Amplomancer, these both go in green. This is pretty good. Wait, that's it? the rare. Oh, that's weird. Th that was, I guess it got flipped around? I guess. I just put it up. Okay. The rare thing. Because it's, yeah. I like this card. I like the Bibliopex Assistant. It returns something, uh, an instant sorcery card back from your graveyard to your deck, and I really Ooh, think that's very good. This is a good one. As a 2-1 flyer. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. That's the, what the one person did with, they played Roy and I killed that they played Will next. And then I oh, killed there's it. another rare. Oh, there's two rares oddly in here. Venerable Warsinger. Vigilance Trample. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the amount of damage This is dealt. the Lord Holt Sun Tiny thing. Gift of Estates. Ooh. Um, and, oh, Foil Stormkin Artist. Kiln Artist. How about this one? Anyway. I was mostly happy about those other ones, huh? Because <laughs> that was more Lord holy for me. Like, get the Estates or anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess, okay, we got one that has two rares in that. Weird. I don't know if maybe set ones come with two rares. I guess. I thought I saw another one like that too, but. Maybe? That's super weird. Our card. I forget what this one's called, but it's another uh, sort of cool one. It's the mm -hmm. white one that gives things indestructible on the back. The crop fumes. Lesson. As an addition calls to cast a spell, exile the creature you control. Exile target creature or planeswalker you. Which is very good. Yeah. Quadrus Pl Pledge Mage. Whenever you cast or copy in or Sorcerer, I'll put a plus one, plus one card. Quadrus mm -hmm. Pledge Mage. So you stay adept. Yep. Field yep. trip. Field trip. Please let this be a normal field trip. With the furs? No way. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh dang it. Why did you bring that back? And why did you put that in my head again? Not that I saw that. Okay, FYI, I do. I love Magic School Bus. That's not. It's not because I hate Magic School Bus. I would never. No, no. It's just I. I. It's. Stuck in my head, anyways. It's a vortex runner. We've seen this before. <laughs> Mentor's guidance. Whenever you cast a spell, copy it. If you control a planeswalker, cleric, druid, shaman, warlock, or wizard, scry one, then draw a card. It's like, bye, bye, adopted mom. <laughs> Who doesn't have ulterior motives? Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> yeah. Have fun, key. Oh, bye. No, but, uh, no, what did we say last night was bye, adopted out mom. <laughs> Explosive welcome. welcome. Welcome, bam. <laughs> Seven and red. It's supposed to welcome deals five damage to any target and three damage to any other target. Add th three red. Ryan and Will were natural fit in Prismar College. It's the school of outrageous elemental arts. Uh, then it's Dream Strix. When it uh, becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. When it dies, learn. Oh, someone and... said hey in chat. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Stano Rofa? Stano Rofa. Stano Rofa. It's a very pretty op. And a foil oh, wormhole campus. Yay. Oh, oh, and a. Uh... We got a lot more list cards this time than when we bought what that. What the heck one. is that thing? It is Shambling Shell. It's one in a uh, Gogari. Sac this is supposed to be Gogari, by the way. Sacrifice yeah. Shambling Shell, put plus one, plus one counter, and then dredge three. Oh, oh, dredge. Nice. Yeah, this is a very. this. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Stand the row? Yes. Stand the row. I did it. I, I have think. to remember my. I don't know. I have to remember my Russian because it does sound slightly Russian. I don't. Yeah. What? This <laughs> is. No, it sounds. Maybe. Yeah, it sounds more Russian. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking, mom. Our car is. I'm a, I'm a student of film, so I I. Like... Oh, it's even signed. Oh wow. I do like the signed ones. I wish more of them were just signed. <laughs> um, bright spurt summoning Eureka moment. Uh, these are both colorful. Um. Mm -hmm. Leyline Invocation. 
green. Yeah, we're opening Biomath up. Petition. Practical research. Draw four. Discard unless you discard instant sorcery. Mass interception. Um, Umbral Juke. Where's the blacks? Um, black cards. Zephyr Boots. Don't underestimate the Zephyr Boots. Zephyr Boots are great. You just, if you saw my draft earlier, it was awesome. Oh, the Biblioplex. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Um, land. Add colorless or two. Look at the top card of your library. If it's, if it's an instant or sorcery, you may reveal it and put it in your hand. If you don't, put the card into your hand. You may put it in your graveyard. Activate only if you have exactly zero or seven cards in hand. So this is supposed to be like an, uh, a non to library accent. Yeah. Right, I think, yeah. And Abundant Harvest. Oh, it's um, a card that doesn't exist yet. It's based on Abundance. It's based on Abundance, Ooh, and I conf- are... it confirmed oh. it's from um, My Horizons uh, um, 2. Tortured Existence. Choose and discard a card, a creature card. I have this one, actually. Too. I have this one, too. This is, well, I'm going to point this out really quickly. Because Tortured Existence is a great, it's basically, it can be, if you use it right, it can be like a, a Nether Phyrexian Arena. Mm-hmm. If you're using, like, black decks and stuff. Because choose, it's black, choose, and discard Phyrexian creature Arena. card specific. Oh, Phyrexian Arena. Sorry, uh, Phyrexian Reincarnation. Oh, yeah. Uh, return to creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I love Swamp Deck with Island. <laughs> no Demir. Or... No, this, that was only Demir right now. That's a thing like that, huh? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm moving the Vex back, huh? But I really... Uh, yeah, my friend is a very big Demir person, too. So... They love Demir. Uh, Fractal Token. They are Fractals. And our card is a Eureka Moment. Ooh. Mountain. Montana. Oh, hey. Oh, is it doing that again? Yeah. We're, like, we're going to get two? That's, that's awesome. I didn't know you could get two in the stacks. But Mascot Exhibition. It's a mythic. Create a two. It's seven. Create a two, one white and black inkling creature token with flying. Create a three and two red white spirit token with flying. And create a four, four blue and red. So, token interesting thing about this, too. It's a less than such retrieval. Someone asked now. why they didn't put in all the tokens for all the how, all the colleges. I remember they said this something about, like, it might have been a little bit too good or too much or something well, like that. Well, it's not just that, all. but because they would have had to include the pest reminder text. Oh, yeah, that makes and, sense. It would have been so long. Yeah. And then they also have to include the fractal thing. Be like, the yeah. fra- no, are the some... fractals here? Yeah, the fractals aren't here. And then they have to be like, okay, so what determines the... The fractals, the power fractal. and toughness. Math bites. <laughs> yeah. So, so I am very dedicated lore hold. I love history, but I will not lie. I, I'm very good at math. <laughs> so, but I understand. I don't necessarily like... Uh, uh, no, oh, thank you. I don't necessarily like uh, <laughs> blue green that much. So that's fair. Square up. Team Pennant. The quick creature gets plus one, plus one, has vigilance and trample. And then you can equip it one to tokens, and then you can pay three to equip the uh, other creatures. Another storm kill an artist. Storm kill an artist. Spell Satchel. We haven't seen this one yet. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, uh, put a book counter on Spell Satchel. Remove a book counter uh, from Spell Satchel. Add colors. Three and uh, tap it. Remove three book counters from spell slash draw a card. I'm probably going to put this in my mono wet, uh, mon- mono wet, mono, mono wet. white brawl deck. <laughs> and then I use Elspeth. Ooh, print of outburst. Which is three. Did we already go through this? No, yeah, we didn't go through this one. Are. We went through the other big is it spell, which is three and and prismari. Each prismari thing. Uh, deals five damage to any target. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order and discard a card. Uh, or discard, discard it. Pay two, discard it, create a treasure. Thank you. <laughs> Basically. Oh. Oh, Flame Scrolled Celebrant. It's one of your duders. Yeah, and it's got it's one of my like one one of the ones I like a lot too, because it's it's got a flame sc- scroll. It's a scroll gun. <laughs> I love the scroll guns in, in Lore Hold. Whenever an opponent activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, Flame Scroll Celebrant deals one damage to that player. When I read it, um, it can get plus two plus oh until the turn. And the back is Reve- Revel in Silence. Your opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalker abilities you control. Exile Revel in Silence. Well, we're using this. <laughs> I like the Silence people. There's something really cool in there, but we're going to say that more. Um, <coughs> Ooh, I want this. Double Major. That's That was... No, that other art still wasn't Double Major. Um, also, when they're saying Math Bites, you should probably... Let's be honest. You also would agree, Math Bites. Yeah, I mean, that's it's the flavor text on Serpentine Curve. That's why they're saying that. Oh, I'm dumb. You're right. It's a 
<laughs> I didn't see it. I forgot. It's a joke. I do love. I love this. I do this. This flavor text in this particular set is pretty on point. But um, yeah, you copy target creature spell you control, except it's if so it's isn't legendary if the spell is legendary. I can copy my commander. Electrolyze. Ooh. Which makes you very happy. Yes. One in blue and red. What is that? Uh, Zootiomancy. Zootiomancy. Zoe Tomancy. Oh, Zoomancy. Zoomancy. Like the bear? The bear of Zoo. The doc- Dr. Bear, MD. Uh, yeah. I I mean, I'm pretty sure Zoomancy just means the magic of animals. Magic using animals, something like that. I would think so, yeah. Which is, um, which is Witherbloom, basically. And then Electrolyze. Electrolyze uh, is one red and blue. Electrolyze deals two damage divided as you choose among one or target creatures and draw a card. Ooh. Ooh, a beaming, a foil beaming defiance. Yeah. Which is really pretty. It is a text card. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of, I was kind of happy to get that on Tappy because Tappy's like, I'm going to kill your thing. I'm like, I'm going to give it. Tappy, I was like, plus two, plus two. I was like, that still kills it. It has, oh, sorry. It has text proof. I was like, awesome. <laughs> okay, here is a card. It is a oh, verdant mastery art. Um, here is a swamp. Here is our environmental sciences arcane subtraction. Where's the blue? Um, frog, amplomancer, uh, needlethorn drake. Oh, Prismaria apprentice. If you cast our copy and it's no sorcery, it can't be blocked this turn. If it has mana value five or greater, put a one encounter on it. Really good it's too. pretty good. That's yeah, really good. snow day. Tap up to two target creatures. They are frozen. Um, draw two, discard a card. This is actually a pretty good one. Ooh! Oh, it's the, it's the math uh, one that you like. Yeah. So, exile the top card of your library. If it's the land, put it in your hand. Otherwise, put a study counter on it. Um, and create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each different mana value among non-land oh, cards okay. you own and exile with study counters on them. When you put small card, please slowly and zoom, please. Oh, okay. They want to see the small card a little closer. Oh, uh, sure. I can... This one? I... It's... It's got... It's the one with, like, the... La- the... The building in the background. Um, and then you flip it to the, uh, owl dude. Or girl. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know this one, though. I don't know what <laughs> gender the bird wizard, or, uh, bird wizard is. Bird wizard. No problem. Of um, course, if you want to see anything closer, just let us know. We'll, Vine, we'll, Glimmer, we'll Snarl. It. Oh, wait, these are rares, so. Yeah. Oh, hey! Swords of Plowshare. It's for you. Um, oh, of Plowshare. I oh. need so many Swords of Plowshare. Tend the pests. So, sack a creature, and you can make a bunch of pests from it. Um, oh, that should... Wait, no. You're no, right. You're we're right. good. We're good. Here oh, go. I already like Stan. Because they they actually um they were asking about the swamps. It's like that's totally me. Swamp art is usually the best art, to be honest. Yeah. It kind of is. Like well, I'm, I'm preferable to island art, but you know. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Which is funny because I would think you would like forest better since they're more like you love forests. I do, but like they're off I mean, it depends. They're often just kind of boring. They don't like the ones I really like, I like the one from, I think it was Return to Return to Ravnica, which had like all the spores and stuff in it. That was really cool, and I got a foil of it. That's the dragon druid thing. Dragon's Guard Elite. Plains. Um, another one with the campus on it. Hey! Isn't that another rare? Or no? Apparently there's, yeah, the last few no. packs just had, no, this is rare. Yeah, it is rare. Weird. That's weird. We're getting like three rares in these packs. Neat. We have we have hit the chat pile, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting a bunch of rares. I'm, I'm sure that's that's archaics. gotta be a th- that's gotta be a thing with the sets or something. It yeah. can't be that this is just a mistake. If an opponent has more uh more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead. If your opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you, interesting. If does not. Play. Oh, it's a lesson. That's yeah, it's why. a lesson. The bibliopolis assistant, an underrated card. I know how much you're like, oh, I don't want to get it. It's a good it's card. Not an it's a. It grabs an instant <laughs> sorcery back. Get your kill spell. Murder their thing yeah. again. Have fun. Live your best life. Curate. By the way, the little deuter on curate. For Jeff. Isn't that kind of similar to the deuters in um uh Fiora? Yeah. Yeah, it does look like the clockwork librarians. Yeah. That's what I thought when I saw it at first. Did we do bar- we didn't do very did. yet? Oh we did? I thought we did. Anyway, oh, I love Mouse this one. I, I know this it. one we didn't do it. It's oh, hy- man. It's Prismari. Hyper Prismari. 
uh, one colors. So whenever Maelstrom use attacks, the next instant sorcery spell you cast this turn causes uh, costs X less to cast, where X is the Maelstrom uses so, powers. As a interesting thing: there's a bug on Arena with this card right now. Why? Um, because what happens, and I noticed this, and I reported it on there as well, is that for some reason, if you attack with your Maelstrom use, and then your opponent plays an instant or sorcery, then for some reason, the game thinks that you played your instant or sorcery to be it cheapened. It gets glitched. Yeah. Well, That's it just, it just loses, you lose the ability to discount a thing later on. So, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Um, um express Oh, sorry. Expressive iteration? Right? Yes. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, put one of them on the bottom of your library, and exile one of them. You may play the exile card this turn. This is super good. Mm -hmm. This is stupidly good. Scale cards, please. Scales. It is? Will that look good? Yeah, our camera's kind of, like, this one's a little difficult for some reason, so... This one can be a little difficult sometimes, so... Yeah. Green Ingus. Return to our, uh, return green, or it's two, red, red, return green ingus, 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 to its owner's hand, then add colorless, or, yeah, generic, generic, red, activate, only as a sorcery. No, it is color, the mana is colorless. Yeah. The price is generic. Prismari command. Which makes Heck you happy. Yeah. So, one in red. Prismari Command deals two damage to any target. Target player draws two cards, then discards two cards. Target player creates a treasure token and destroys target artifact. Snakeskin Veil. I hate this card. I know. It's the one in green. Well, plus one, plus one time on target creature you control. It gains hexproof until the turn. It's dumb. <gasps> and one of these for the some reason. Tapped creature. Oh! oh. What is. Oh! Wait, I, wait, do I know this? I do this. Comes into play. Ta oh, prisma Pr Prismatic. Geoscope. Five yeah. colorless. It's a list card. And it's tap battlefield tap. If you have domain, add one mana of any combination close to your mana. mana. X mana. Where X is never basic land types when one lands you control. It is domain it is a very bad mechanic, actually. <laughs> kind of bad. Well, it's for good some. for this. I think this was a commander card, actually. It is a commander card. Um, if you look at the set symbol, yeah. It's this. Yeah, which the camera's being difficult again. I know it's why I hold it the other way actually yeah. helps a lot, so here we go. Okay. Like that. Um, it's a little difficult for me because I'm kind of coming in at a weird angle to do this, but we'll try our best. I have best. like a little kind of cubicle thing on that. I've created this cubicle so I can make it easier for me. It's screen, a fractal but... Wait, other side. Um, okay. So keep it flat like that, and it is. Eh, I don't. It's like fine. It. Don't. It's not going to pick up on the white as well. I know. I fine. just. I'm trying to position it correctly. Okay. Oh, it's what's this? It's uh, Exodus. Exodus. Um, and then There's Swamp. Swamp. It's the same art as before. Um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, fractal summoning. Um, make fractals. Make fractal. Tangle Trap. Where did everybody... There we go. Tangle Trap. Deals five to a creature with flying. Destroy target artifact. Your basic, uh, sideboard card. Where's the green? Um, we saw this guy already. It's a flat dog. We saw this guy already. We saw that guy already. We saw that frog already. Um, hunt for specimens. This is a really good lesson. Um, makes a pest and then learn, which um, our friend Tom just kept getting the pest lesson. So, you know. The pest lesson. The, the pest. Pestin. Um, infuse with vitality. Until end of turn, and target creature gains death touch, and when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control, and you gain two life. This turn is for me, uh, for me, Swamper. Oh. They like the swamp one. It's like, yeah, we got the swamp Turok one. Wrangler. Um, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. Um, oh, hey! Archmage Emeritus. It's a great card. It is a, it's, it's an annoying card. I was, whenever you I cast or copy, draw a card. This. He draws she cards. Was drawing, she was drawing so <laughs> many freaking cards off this thing. It's like, right. I was like, I wanted to shock Look it. at that. Oh. Exile a creature you control, then return it to the battlefield, um, and rebound. Um, and a foil bookworm. Uh, the bookworm. Oh, this should be in rares. Um, and a fractal, which I already mentioned. You better study up on your fractals. <sighs> Ow. You okay? There is no new mutate card with new release. Now this... Yeah, no. I, mutate probably won't return, I assume, until Ikoria. 
Yeah. There's as far as I know, Return I don't to Ikoria whenever that happens. I don't think there's a um I don't think there's a mutate card in the commander deck. We might see something in a extended thing with a mutate. I could, yeah. I could see it coming back in like maybe like Modern Horizons 2, maybe or something mm-hmm. like that. But yeah, there's no mutate in this one. Which makes me sad because I do like mutate. <laughs> I know a lot. There's It's a you, controversial. You, yeah, you, you and I love mutate Stan. Clearly. Uh I like mutate as well. You like mutate too, but a lot of other people don't like mutate. I have my own turn ADH, which I love. This is uh, Agonizing Remorse. Yes. It's very pretty. It's a forest. forest. It's a spirit. I agree. Why can't we just get more swamps? Spirit summoning. The lesson, 3 2. Red White Creature Token. You can probably go through most of these at this point. Burying Books. It costs two less if a target is an attacking creature, and then you can put. The creature's only a second. Oh, Master Symmetrist. We didn't see this one. It's two and a green, two green. Reach whenever a creature you control with power equal to its toughness attacks, it gains trample until the turn. It's a neat card. Symmetry Sage. Oh, this is cool. Which has really pretty art. One flying magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, target creature you control has base power two until end of turn. Wormhole Serpent. Wormhole Serpent. Four and blue. Target creature uh, can't be blocked this turn. Academic dispute. Uh, target creature uh, blocks the strain of able. You may have it gain reach until end of turn. Learn. Neat. I still need to see. I need to try this card. Yeah. I don't know if it's really that great, but I, I want to try it. It's like I do want to get the gotcha and be like, "Hi, you attack." Now that has to block your big creature. I twitch. It's the long line of eye. It's an eye bat. It's, yes. Hey everyone, it's the we have introduced the eye bat. Is this. It's a uh, black when I witch dies learn. I twitch. I twitch dies learns. I don't know. It's I twitch. Yeah, it's supposed to be a, a it's, joke. It's, or it's, it's, a pune. it's 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 or, it's a pune or play on words. Did you did you notice that? Uh, <laughs> what, what was his name? Oh. 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 <laughs> that's very. That's a lot. That's My worth boy. quite a bit. <laughs> and it's a myth. It is Belzros Witherbloom. Five and a green and a black. Flying at the beginning of each upkeep. Create a one, one black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain one life. Pay ten life. Untap all lands you control and activate this. Activate only once each turn. Oh, that's the other reason why this thing's ridiculous. It's because activate each turn, too. Yeah. And commander. And a baleful mastery. Ooh, I, I do like this, too. I love baleful mastery. Oh, thank you, Sam. It's a freaking wither blue. It's like We've all been pulling Wither Blooms. Tappy got this one. <laughs> Tom got the regular one, and now we got this one. It's like everybody, this with these Wither Blooms ain't worth a damn. Everyone's got one. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, Baleful Master with three, three and a black. When you pay, I know. Hold on. When you pay, instant, you may pay one and a black rather than the <laughs> mana cost. If one and a black cost was paid, an opponent draws a card. Exile target creature plays walk. This is very good. You yeah, that's have to nice. Give them that's a card. Nice, yeah. <laughs> this is its mastery. This is a Kelsey card. This is your card. Yes. Three please. and a green. <laughs> Exile target card that. And I need to read the card. No. Exile target <laughs> card that's an instant of sorcery from your graveyard for each card exiled this way. Copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Exile misses it. Misses mastery. Overload five. Say eight. that five times fast. Uh, three overload means that you can copy it uh for each if you do change, you, you, you change tr- all instances of target to each so you basically can just cast your entire graveyard oh hey! Mario one. i want that i mean you basically want probably want both of those to switch you want well, yeah Bloom, technically although i also want with <laughs> we'll fight over the with yes later. we'll have to do our di- that's the thing about game this is a couple we have to do a division of like all right who gets what we both usually want it's one. easy because- it's usually pretty easy because you don't like white yeah and I don't um, tend to like blue that much, so. Hey, it's uh, Dina, the steeper. I don't like green really much either, but I tend to sometimes want some green cards. Um, like Gogari. Oh, you like. this weird thing um, that randomly has reach. Steady Break, Ageless Guardian. Where's the white? Okay. Uh, Blood Age General. Um, where's the red? Kill Drop for Clues. Rescuer. Rescuer. Effigy. Hey, I haven't seen this one we before. Done, yeah, we haven't done Demogoth. Demogoth, Wo Icha. At the beginning of your upkeep, sack a creature. When you sacrifice itself, each opponent discards a card. You draw a card and you gain two life. When you sacrifice. Oh, they only draw when it sacrifices itself? Yeah. I guess they never draw. 
No. That's why some people weren't getting hey! cards. There you go. That's Cody! what you want. Cody the Ver... Vociferous. Codex. Yes. The Ver... Vociferous is Codex. We know. I don't know. Eliminate. Uh, This is the rare pile. Eliminate. And divide by zero. Simple. I like eliminate. Just simple, classy. And swamp punks. Wither Bloom Swamp Pugs. I think we now have all five college ads. Yes. Um, Where's the blue? What are those? Oh, I'm gonna... So the Wither, the Wither Moon, I think the extended version basically got the box. So. I'm going to build Cody. Like... So the set boosters this time around were much, much better. But yeah. When we got, what was it, the Zendikar ones, the first ones that they did? Mm-hmm. They, were just, they were just awful. Yeah. They were just, they, like, this has, like, list cards in the other one. We had, like, no list cards whatsoever. I'm like, I don't need to always get list cards, but gosh, it felt like, I don't know, it just felt like everything was bad with the themes and stuff, and it felt mm-hmm. like we didn't get that great stuff. It just felt garbage. Compared to, like, this, which is, like, we actually got some really cool things. Um, is that one oh, back of the art? Yeah. For what I forget what it is. Mountain. Go blink. That's what it's called. She's very Montana. Good artist. Just for a record, that Wiley Beckett is a woman, not a man. Yes. A lot of people think. They can see Wiley. So, test something. I think I heard something about that. Um. Define, well, they showed a picture of her with um, one of the artworks. Yeah. Like, oh, hi. Right. She got like a. She's got like this cool, like kind of like angled haircut too. Um, Beaming defiance. A crushing disappointment of a card? Yep. Well, um, a very good card, but a crushing disappointment of a themed card. Is it only unboxing? Go and play. Um, We were playing draft earlier. I might go back to that. It just depends how long we finish the box. I mean, there's like one more There's one more thing left, so you could yeah, probably do that. I could maybe switch over really quickly. I was going to try to do this, uh, the Strixhaven party thing that I'm doing in paper, but unfortunately I have to... That's not working right now because I have to... I have to set some things up to get that correct. And oh, kind of yeah, you might as well. Pain pain, but I might finish the draft. So, yeah. Because we just start one, so. Um, Ring of Extus. That's right. Or Rise of Extus. The Rise of Extus. Or, and I keep saying Ecstasy or something like that. No, it's, I haven't been saying Ecstasy. I'm just saying it correctly. Yeah, just, we've been saying Ecstasy. I think mentally I just hear Ecstasy. Um, four and. No, I do not take that. Don't worry. Uh. Four and uh, Silver Cross, Silver Quill. Exile target creature. Exile up to one target. Instant sorcery will form a graveyard of the turn. You don't see this. This is not common, but you don't uh, see uh, it very no, often. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Dueling coach. I haven't seen this one yet either. Three and uh, oh, white. When dueling coach enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Four and a white. Tap. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Show confidence. One and a white. When you cast a spell, a copy it for each other instant or sorcery, you cast this turn. You choose new targets for copies. It's essentially storm. Blech. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and gains vigil and storm. You don't get storm. Why do you get storm? Silver Quill Apprentice. Whenever you cast um or copy an instant or sorcery spell, target creature gets plus one plus one until the turn. People were Wither Bloom command. Oh, nice. Does a lot of do things. Do we have like, all the commands now? I think so. We got Chris had... Mari, we got Lore Hold, we got Silver Quill. I guess we're maybe... yeah, we don't have Quandrix. I think we yeah, got two right. Wither Blooms. I think there's a We don't have a Quandrix. Um Great, I'm sorry. Uh black and green. Uh target choose two. To target player mills thing. three cards, then you return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. Store target non creature non land permanent with mana cost two or less. A target creature gets neg three, neg one until and target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. I didn't realize this could be a double kill spell yeah. if done right. Ooh. Oh, gross spiller. Ooh. Draw a card that you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. Team Pennant. Uh, and Pennant. one of the mini games. Oh, it teaches you how to do Winchester Draft. <laughs> That's cool. Winchester Draft is a fun one to do if you only have like two people. If you're like by your, like you're, there's only two people. I like guess. Yeah, we, we do that sometimes. I mean, we do when we could go regular draft, but obviously, like now we have to do Winchester's a lot. Um, uh, one of the fractal cards. Mount. Oh, here we go. Mountain. Necrotic fumes. Necrotic fumes. This could actually work out as a good cosplay with the mask I'm working on. It's very similar in design. Um, where's the black? There it is. Um, Pilgrim of the Ages. Pillow Drop Warden. Stormrise Spirit. Stonebound Mentor. What's wrong? Nothing. What? Oh, you put the white in the colors. That's okay. Oh, it's hard to tell. Um, there we go. Dina! Oh, Dina. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses a life. Um, and you can sack a creature to pump her. Deadly Brew. There's a lot of uh, Golgari in here, or 
Witherbloom. Um, Watch the Nether Witherbloom come out. Blade Historian. <sighs> yes, I really wanted this one too. I studied the Blade. <laughs> this is the other study of the Blade Joe card. Basically, Cultivate. attacking creatures. Heck get yeah. Double strike. Shock Foil. Ooh, that's a pretty shock. And Noggle Hedge Mage. <laughs> I remember these guys. Um, when Noggle Hedge Mage mm-hmm. comes into play, if you control two or more islands, you may tap two cards for permits. Or if you control two or more mountains, you may have it deal two damage to target player. The Noggles are fun. Oh, weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Anyway, that's all of the packs, I believe. Yeah, we got our stuff. We got some pretty, pretty good things. The oh, Wither, heck yeah. The Wither Bloom was awesome. And we're upside I, down. Yes. Hello. You can see us and how the sausage is made because we're going to have to flip this. Give me a moment. Yeah. I I should probably flip it first and do it, but it's like whatever. I honestly think it's kind of funnier if we could do it, do it like this. Transform. There we go. There we go. And then and we're not mirrored, right? Or are we? We're flipped. We're flipped. We are flipped. So we're I think. Flipped. Cards off. There we go. Okay. Gravity is working. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity is working correctly the way we should. Also, now you can see my my beat up. Indiana Jones hat that I got when I was like 10 or something and it's been in storage for a long time like dredged up just for it today. It fits better than you think. Nah. I feel like I look like Vincent Van Gogh. Or look, you look No, I look like uh, Gray. Professor Gray. Who? The what, What's his name? The pho- photography professor. Oh, you're right. John Gray. Yeah, but I look like John Gray. Oh, whatever. Anyway. I gotta get like a the little like suitcase bag and just like and then I gotta like show um uh be like, okay, we're gonna talk about certain films. In the end, Jones. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Stan. Um. So, you want to do an arena thing? You know what? Actually, I might just stop here. Are you sure? The reason why is because I need to eat. Oh. It's yeah. already lunchtime. We were um, well, well, technically you because you're the voice in the back <laughs> as yeah. always. Um, we were playing uh the Tapio friend of ours and and earlier for like an hour and it got cut off because of shenanigans with the problems with the stream, but. It is much longer than I thought it was. I need to eat. So okay. So, but uh, thank you, Stan, for coming. Usually we can go a little bit longer. Yeah, usually we can go a little longer, but uh, today's gonna be a little cough because I'm, I'm, I need to take a break for a little while. So, um, if you're playing the Strixhaven thing, if you're doing sealed or something like that, uh, feel free. Like if you see my name or something like that in there, feel free to let me know, and I can play against you too because we're. Mm-hmm. They're doing that on the Discord and stuff. It's like we'll be strict caveman party. Out of that over time. Yeah, because I'm gonna be playing that once I. But I should probably get food and I need to eat. I mean, let's be honest, I have these facilities. <laughs> <laughs> let's just be honest. I, yeah, this, yeah. You should. Yeah. I should probably attend go to, to <laughs> attend to biological matters. Yes, but thank you for coming, Stan. I, I really appreciate the follow. I hope we see you in the future on the channel because it'd be great to get people. Because I'm doing more magic stuff and I'm actually really happy with the set. This is a fun set. Are you playing on PC or with table? Um, we are doing both. So mm-hmm. I play arena usually when I can't get other people for the Strixhaven party thing. Um, they're doing it on table, but they're doing like, you know, it's the webcam thing. So we're, we are playing at paper for that. So if you're there, um, go, go to, I think it's Strixhaven release party. Yeah. Or is it Strixhaven party? No, I think it's just Strixhaven release party. One of the two, yeah. Um, and they're running it all weekend. It's running so. Channel Fireball. Check their, check the Channel Fireball. Twitter, that's one easy way to find, or the Magic Twitter, because they both have it there. Uh, for sure, you can find it there. <laughs> and yeah, it'll have the instructions, it'll teach you if you've done webcam. Oh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool too, that they're doing. They did this for Command, a lot of Commander games, and you can actually play Commander too, which is funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they have a whole section. They have an for option that, for that where you can still earn points. Because I know some people maybe didn't get their packs, apparently, and stuff like that, which is, is happening because some shops are delayed. So they're like, hey, if you mm-hmm. want to play Commander, go play Commander. Like, hey. So. Hey, you. I am going to log off. Uh, thank you, Stan, for coming. Thank you for anyone else who's coming, too. I know we, we got some people rotating in and out. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Not for Magic, actually. Around 10.30 a.m. I'm actually going to do uh, Pokemon. Uh, oh, right. I have Pokemon cards I need. I have to open, too. So it's mm-hmm. the weird Magic weekend, but then I also randomly have Pokemon in there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Just follow. Uh, f- you can follow me. I'm at. Uh, so it's I'm at True, T-R-U. Because Twitter does not let me put that last E because it's weird. Um, Fam Angel. And you can follow there. You can follow up with the uh, all the jazz, like, you know, the information if I put any stuff up. I think. And then also we have a schedule here at the True Fam Angel uh, on Twitch. So, yeah. If you need, I have a schedule up every week. I always do on Sundays. Insta? I don't have an Instagram yet. Yeah, you're old. 
Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm also a photography person. You think I would do that, but I sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I, I haven't, I don't, I will create an Insta. So. <laughs> You don't have to. At some point, I, I will. I don't have one yet, but I've also been kind of like I don't know. It's been a weird thing of like, what do I put on there other than food pics? But that's what most people. Put that's on what there. most people put on Instagram. <laughs> it's because I like photography that I'm also kind of like, but I want to take awesome pictures. I may be starting one soon. So. Man, I have no tour. Just only Twitch is working for us. Okay, well, the, I appreciate you being here. Honestly, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to get closer to. It's a Philly. Philly is first. Yes. Partner is the next one. I'm trying to get a close to partner. Your follow has helped me already greatly stand. So keep going back. It's like, and we have a schedule up here. So if you need to see more of the stream and stuff, it'll all be up there. It always goes up like about midday or so sun uh, Sunday after the, usually I do it like after the other stream on Sunday, if I'm doing a stream on Sunday. So. But yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you, Stan. Thank you for coming. And the, everyone who's here and their stuff like that, have a good night. Have a good day. Have fun. We'll see you if you're playing the Strixhammer thing too. No problem. See you again too then. Say, thank you so much. We'll see you. Oh, I, I forgot my outro. Always try your best. Never have any regrets. Bye.